Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Wednesday. Very happy to be here for some more backpack battles. Uh, gonna get clicked into our run here. Uh, let's let's start with who today? Let's start with Berserker today. All right, before we get this run started, though, let me get caught right here in chat. Your wonderful support. What a store. Four items on sale in the store. Wow. Hey there, Stone a lot. What's good? Abolished. Good to see you. Emil Carello, Fank. What's well, good? Tricky Knight, Wright, 1676. Hey there, Chalk Bull. Hey there, Bitta, Abolished. KSWA, Zatung, Tharson, Jin Justice, Carnosaur, and all the other cool early people. Hope you're having a great one. What a store, though. Look at this. This is incredible. So, uh, I mean, I'm going to buy everything here. I actually want this out of the uh out of there we're gonna be making shovel round one for sure you know i think i'd actually really had the broom go faster during battle rage i will absolutely not turn down that store we filled up the bag with stuff that functions. Awesome. Whew. Still pretty close, though. Yeah, not gonna lie, Shovel Spear is a pretty monster opener. Good night, Owl Bear. Go good to see you too. You can also go for torch or potentially just load the uh, wooden sword in here. What's this? Point seven as well. The damage amount on spear is so much higher that I think that's what we do. We go like this. And I'm going to buy this banana too, even though it doesn't fit in the bag right now. I guess we can make it fit in the bag. Maybe we remove the blacksmith hammer here. Gotta be a way to do this. Maybe not a way with getting both of the, uh, both the weapons on the whetstone. That might be a stretch here. Yeah, that's just gonna be a stretch. It's not gonna happen. Doesn't mean we can't get two or still get the whetstone in here, though. I think the banana is pretty important. I don't know, I think that's the bag. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna sell whetstone. It's gonna be difficult to get with these two weapons anyways, and we'll buy coal, which has a functional benefit right now. Holding onto the walrus tusk for... A potentially a spike shield. Yo, thank you for that amazing support. Time to run. Thanks so much for seven months and freeze 914. Thanks for 121. Really appreciate that. Okay, there's the shield for uh, spike shield. We're going to buy this and this. So we're going to remove the blacksmith hammer this round to make spike shield. I'm going to buy this rock because I can. I'm going to throw it in the air. All right, here we go. A lot of bangers today to open up the stream. Wow. That's fair. Ooh. Okay. We're definitely going to take present. This early of a present is really exciting.
So the president, instead of gold, you receive items with a higher value. Gain five random buffs at the start of battle. Hey, thanks, Spamatory. Now, what do I want to sell here to get this, though? Like, I want to get the uh, leather bag and the present this round. So I need five gold. There's one, two, got three, four here. So maybe we'll go for uh, the rock. Then we'll sell the healing herbs and either both coals or coal and garlic. I think I'm going to go uh, both coals here. This is pretty exciting to get this. Early. I've never had present this early. Yo, C. Bothorf, thanks so much for that sub support. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Thank you. Really appreciate that. All right. We got an Armored Power Puppy. Deck of cards. What is this? Badger Rune? Oh my god, dude. Whoa. How much does Badger Rune sell for? Three? Okay. The so Badger Rune says, uh, on hit, trigger 3% faster. During Battle Rage, reduce damage taken by 7. Backpack items use 10% less stamina. Holy guacamole. Alright, well, Deck of Cards is out for sure. How much does Power Puppy sell for? Four? Dude, Freeze 9 and 4, thanks for 121 months. 121. Uh, I kind of think right now this goes in armor. So we get a 7 less damage taken. Like, right now, that pretty much nullifies most sources of damage. That's pretty sick. Completely unopposed to getting a Goobert here. Oh, this seems pretty good, too. I don't know, man. Uh, let's look for inventory space. Uh, there's one. Let's sell off these gems to get that. Alright, so if I remove this... We can go like that. Looks pretty good. Let's see how it does. That is a lot of armor, dude. Dang. Fortunately, they have very little weapons, so I think we might be okay here. And we're also gaining buffs from this uh, power puppy, which is not an item we should have right now. It's only because of present. We wouldn't be getting this till round eight or nine, even. Oh, the bot needs rebooted. Yeah, that happens. Good old Windows updates. Oh my goodness. Is this happening right now? Misses struggles. Every five seconds, remove one buff of each type from your opponent. Okay, also, Claws of Attack is uh, interesting here. I think I'm going to be removing uh, probably Shovel or Spear for that. Maybe we go for Shovel here, or Spear rather, and we we take this. Yeah, I think we go for a more normalized amount of stamina consumption, and this is it. 
I kind of want to keep shovel because it's providing value, and I think we're above power level right now because of present, so I'm going to do that. Go like this, and this. Go for faster attacking on these. What does this do in the inventory right now? I'm getting the feeling it might be actually kind of hard to buy Goobert <laughs> uh, with the stuff we're getting. But uh, we should buy Goobert here. Maybe not this round, though. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, I could buy I could buy Goobert here. Um, by selling the two Topaz and the Amethyst. I like the Amethyst for the potential uh, minus healing on enemies, but getting Goobert in the bag right now would be pretty huge. Could even move the backpack or move the badger rune into a weapon here, like the uh, claws of attack. This is actually a kind of a sick combo because every um, every four hits we gain an empowerment and it trigger three percent faster on hit. That's stacking, so like every four hits is twelve percent faster. So that should get slapping pretty fast. Like we should be very fast on the the hits here. I could even. Um, Consider taking the stamina potion. Not a bad temptation just to buy blueberry this round. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy blueberry, put it next to the puppers. Uh, putting this next to the puppers gives another 20% faster. Let's see how this bag operates. I'm going to get Goobert next round. Two axes and steel goobs. Oh, they have whip too. They're going to be in stamina hell here. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, gloves are 0 0.3 stamina, and they get faster as they attack, so um, not exactly. Okay. Definitely getting cheese goob here is a uh, is a goal. Okay, let's go ahead and sell hungry blade. Wow, on sale here with the cap of resilience. That is pretty good. It okay, rocks out of here for sure. I really need inventory space is the problem. This is always the problem with present. It throws a bunch of stuff at you that looks awesome, but then, uh, you know, what's good? Thinking maybe this uh, round we're going to take a slightly worse evaluation to uh, make, make Goob here, or at least get Goob in the bag. You know, I believe this helmet is a bit of a sidetrack. Like, this looks really good, but um, we're getting a bunch of random free stuff. We can even just get straight up cap of discomfort from the present, so uh, we should wait out for something even better. Okay, this would bring us to 11. If I sold the three gems, it'd be 12, 13, 14. So I could buy, um, I could buy cheese and I could buy Goobert. I think I should do that. 
it's a little bit abnormal because usually on a uh, berserker run, you're trying to um, you're trying to make these crafted armors and things, and that can still kind of be a goal here, but uh, a little different. Let's redo the bag with goob in it. I could also choose to leave the present in the bag or in the storage one time, but I don't think I'm going to want to do that route. Okay, goobert time. Put goobert right here. Shovel right here. Claws of attack right here. The best other side of goobert right now would be the... Uh, be the... Spike here. I think we put the cheese next to Goober like this instead. And if that's the case, the shovel doesn't actually necessarily have to be in the bag like that, does it? Uh, another option here would be leave the shovel out this round. I think that's not necessarily a bad idea. I think that's it. I think that's the bag right now. Oh, I'm getting spoopy chillied right now? That's rough. My, at least my weapons are getting faster to attack. I think we're gaining speed faster than they're uh, applying here. We'll see. Yeah, we're good. So they were slowing us down majorly, but the uh, claws of attack are gaining attack speed and bonus damage. Blood Goobert in the house. Also axe here. Wow. I don't even know what I take here. Probably Brass Knuckles. 5% accuracy crit chance. Yeah, let's take Brass Knuckles here, I think. I think there's no way we're going to be able to afford Anvil here. So this is definitely out. How much does this sell for? Two. Three blueberries. Probably too many blueberries. You know, a big part of me here is wondering if it might be worth it to drop the forging hammer now. Blood goob's also kind of ridiculous here. Okay, let's sell the axe. Sell blueberry. I'm really interested in maybe selling the, um, the forging hammer. Let's take brass knuckles here. Okay, $3 inventory space here. Definitely need this. You're right, this does add empowerment, so it's good to get in the bag. It's just not good enough right now. Okay, 25% reduced healing, cool. Uh, I'm going to sell here and sell here to purchase this bag. And then if I put Blood Goober here, I can move this shield in between them, like so. Also, there's no real reason that I can't uh, move some of the food to the other side with maybe the Courage Puppy. Let's redo the bag real quick. We're certainly limited on space, and this is kind of uh, on pace for um, a run that starts with present, and we're getting random items. 
we have a really high value of items, but not a lot of bag space. Very cool opening run today. I'm looking at like... Also, hold up, maybe these have a slot in it. Okay, no slot in these. I'm gonna say if this did have a slot, I would definitely be considering uh, putting the badger rune in those. Okay, we want to have um, the brass knuckles on blood goober. Blood goober actually counts as a weapon, so uh, this gives it additional uh, chance to crit. Cheese goobs here. The cell for four. Okay, this bag looks nice. I see they're removing the forging hammer for Mrs. Struggles. I kind of like this better because we're gaining empowerment uh, with a pretty nice value. So we're getting two random buffs here, uh, possible empowerment here, and empowerment when the badger rune hits. So this looks really strong. I think we uh, sideline uh, Mrs. Struggles right now. I'm definitely tempted to lock this armor uh, to try to make the Dragon Scale armor for damage reduction uh, during Battle Rage. But I think this build's going to be a little bit different than that, so let's unreserve this. Let's leave Mrs. Struggles here, and let's start battle. Having double upgraded Goob here on round 8 is... it's pretty spicy. Case in point, this is a pretty nice poison build, and we just outpaced it. Um, holy armor's gonna get sold here. What is this? 25% chance to raise this poison doesn't seem bad. Uh, I mean, crown is of a very massive value here. I'm going to buy crown and roll. We can always just uh, roll again. Okay. Let's do in the bag. After four seconds, gain three regeneration. Interesting. I like the poison resist. So sell for it sells for four. I don't know if that's worth four. All right, if we sell off uh, this gym and the blueberry, we can buy the bag that frees up four spots. So that'd be enough room for crown and for uh, the Mrs. Struggles. That seems pretty good. I think just spatially that makes a lot of sense. We want to get the other side of Goob covered if we can. Not quite, huh? Feels like there should be a way to do this. I like this, but I also want to get Mrs. Struggle in with the remaining two spots.
I guess how we do it here is we don't activate the other side of Cheese Goob at the moment, but we do get, uh... So we can go Crown here. Okay, here it is. Alright, we got everything in the bag. Uh, I think we're looking pretty well synergized, too. On sale blueberry. If I could afford it right now, I'd buy it, but at the moment, no. Yo, the Daxum. Thanks so much for eight months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you all for that amazing support. Alright, what's the cell for? Five. The cell for four and two. Right. Well, I mean, big part of me would like to pick up dragon, but the truth is the present can generate a dragon by itself. I think just getting this, this round could be really nice. Hey there, Onion Viking. Okay, this is out of here. Attacks 25% faster is... It'd be nice, but... Maybe I just drop this in the Forging Hammer for right now. Definitely want the Collar. Alright, where's the spot that the fanny pack goes that makes the most sense here. I think kind of an easy add would be adding it to the weapons if we can. Should be able to. Alright, looking good. Alright, let's take a look at the recipe for Chain Whip. That's true. Deals plus one damage for each buff you remove from your opponent. On hit, remove two random buffs from your opponent. This is also nice because we have the uh, Mrs. Struggles. This would be the uh, kind of cure for our stamina thing, too. Bring us to 1.3. I kind of like just having the Claws of Attack, though. They're doing a lot of damage. I don't think Chain Whip is in the books. Badger rune on the claws is so freaking good. Oh man. Whoa! Bone for tuna! Bone for tuna to you! That's pretty incredible. That's a great weapon. That'd be like this. Yeah, the present gives you items from other classes. It's, it's really a nutty item. It's really good. This also puts our stamina consumption at low, which is awesome. There we go. Um, okay, well, piggy bank's out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the this gym is out so I can buy the stamina bag and actually get the hammer back in.
Topaz is semi hard to give up, but like at some point we got to make a decision here. I mean, I guess I could withhold the hammer this round and just lock this. Yeah, Exoterra, the present is a unique item, so unique items have very low percent chance to show up, like, uh, 2% right now. So we had a 1% chance roll for a unique item, and we rolled present. Alright, let's go like this. Well, actually, I think I want the Topaz in the Forging Hammer, because we are gaining... No, we'll go here. I'm gonna reserve this. Present is definitely best got early on. Spicy bully, heck you let. You better believe we're going to survival mode. You better believe it. Oh my god, ice armor. Alright, start a battle, gain 45 armor and inflict 4 spoopy chili. Every 5 seconds, use uh, heat to inflict 2 chili and gain 10 blocks. We don't have any sources of heat generation yet. But uh, making the enemy 8% slower is definitely a nice start. How much does self war six? Okay. Well, daggers out for sure. Boots are out. Hmm. I mean, Ice Armor is still not untempting, so we get 8% slower on the enemy and 45 block at the start, so I mean, that's an extension of our health. The more I'm looking at, the more I think Ice Armor just kind of doesn't fit, but on that same note, it's like... We are gaining random buffs, so getting heat is not out of the question. Maybe I drop the bananas here to fit it, or drop a uh, garlic to fit it. Every five seconds, use heat. Okay. Well... We lost some Courage Puppy uh, synergies there. Still pretty good, though. We're getting the pet bonuses. Alright, let's try this. I don't see a use in selling the armor yet. I'm definitely willing to sell it, but uh, at the moment it doesn't seem very worth it. Okay. 
Okay, we're running out of stamina now, so that banana was important. Fair enough. Oh my goodness, we got two more puppies here. Power puppy and armored wisdom puppy. Alright, well, armor's out now then. Because we have the puppers. Ooh, stamina potion as well, and strong heroic potion even. It'd be nice to get the uh, Power Puppy uh, boosted this time. Every four seconds, okay. Definitely, yes. On sale, too. Okay, I think the Topaz being on the bow is a little bit too aggressive for stamina. We want the Claws of Attack to be attacking as often as possible. doesn't have anything for food. It's only pets, huh? Okay, I think it's going to be the best stars we're going to get for now. Unless we went like this. I think that's looking good for now. Probably a bag reconfigure after this round. Yo, Night Shift Coffee, thanks so much for 40 months. Appreciate that 4 0. I'm gonna resurrect here. I think we're still okay, though. Yeah, we're holding on stamina now. Okay, busted blade. I mean, cool weapon. We have a working system right now, though, so let's get that out of here. Okay, I need this. I think ruby sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and sell uh, emerald here and pick up this five square. And it's time to redo the bag. Okay, well, for starters, let's get this uh, duffel bag in. Gonna put him this way this time. And then the hammer's right here. Okay, we're hitting all three, good. And for the sake of consistency, just gonna put this here. I'm gonna put the crown on this side as well.
I think that's fair. I also think pointed at the brass knuckles is pretty good. Maybe a little bit better pointed at claws, but this is a better goobert evaluation for sure. I can't go up or down. Interesting. Fair. I think the spike shields are becoming less and less important here. They're good for amethyst value. But, um, let's try to get the, the, the puppies set up in such a way that makes sense here. Alright, every four seconds gain 12 armor and cleanse one spoopy chili. Increase armor gain by one. Triggers 15% faster for each pet. Well, it seems like we'd want the maximum amount of pets next to this one. This, and then maybe uh, garlic in between them for food synergy. It's a lot of stars. Do corner present. You can also definitely just build food on this side for more uh, puppy power. Definitely a weird bag. Alright, where can I squeeze in this fanny pack? I kind of think the fanny pack on the puppies might make sense. Like, remove this and then let's redo this side real quick. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, these two, the fanny packs. Looking better already. I'm going to forego one food synergy to make room here. Alright, so we're one inventory slot shy of having the potion here, which sells for five. I suppose the thing to give up would be the uh, the other banana for now. Let's go like this. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, look at them! They're regular Goobert away from uh, Goobert Prime. Good for them. Not sure I'll be able to out-damage this one. Maybe, though. We are gaining a crazy amount of damage here. Wow, we got through quad goobert pets. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, Emerald Whelp. Start a battle, gain three luck, inflict three poison per hit. That's really good. I want that right here. Oops. So the great thing just having the bag is increases stamina regen. Uh, so that's a nice. Alright, we're going to sell uh, this. Let's sell the garlic, too, to pick up the fanny pack.
Do lose one food synergy there. What does Grieve sell for? Three and two here. That looks okay. Oh, doesn't. There it is. Yeah, let's go like that. Get the uh, maximum value on the pets here. Okay, here we go. Wow, nice build, man. Boom, bam, blamo. Dang, night shift copy. Thanks for 40 months. Appreciate that, 4 0. What rune is this? Elephant rune. All right, 25% chance to stun on hits. Start a battle, 40% chance to resist debuffs for 4 seconds. That's amazing for like a poison bomb. How much does sell for? Two, three? All right, I'll put that in the crown here. Okay, every three seconds, deal five damage and inflict four spoopy chili for three seconds. Uh, max use is three, increased by each ice item. Probably selling ice scroll. What's the sapphire do? Chance to inflict health directly and inflict chili on hit. Okay. This is probably getting sold. I'm gonna roll here. Okay. Ooh, bird. Uh I I definitely think I drop a um Drop a spike shield here to pick up bird. Maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe I can afford everything here if I sell. It brings me to 8, uh, 10, 12. Need 13 in order to purchase this. Okay. That's the one. Might be reconfiguring here. Long claws of attack is also very good, but I think this uh, this setup right here looks very strong. The issue with it is this particular zone. I think how we're gonna do this, we're gonna condense the top side like this.
Yeah, I think I'm going to put Mrs. Struggles down here. I like the idea of the bird being on the food and all the pets. I also like the idea of the uh, Courage puppies getting a better food value. persisted crit was staff okay on attack he is four mana deal plus seven damage and for the next one second all of your attacks are critical honestly that's not untempting but we don't really have a good source of mana here amethyst and gems is definitely good sells for eight let's go Definitely not against just adding in uh, one more here. Rolling's fine too. Also, buying this helmet allows us to plug the amethyst in for even less healing. Yeah, let's increase the max health by 40. Let's buy this helmet and let's plug the amethyst in here and here. So we're now at 25, 40. Yeah, 40. 55% reduced opponent healing. Well, I very technically have the ability to uh, get this worked in the bag. In order to do so, we have to completely reconfigure, which I just might be willing to do here. Not till next round, though. Not till we see what we get. Nice build they got. Ooh, are they getting us here? They're getting us. Nice one. All right, final round here. Chili Goobs in the house. What a lad. Wow, Vampiric Gloves, too. All right, let's reconfigure the bag for our final round. It's been a very cool run with the present. Also, since this is the last round with the store, we can sell the present now. Okay, so this side, we got Brass Knuckles. We got Badger Claws. This is out of here. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually put the Vampiric Gloves right here, more than likely. Party wants to go like this. Even like this is kind of cool. Ooh. What if we do this and then do this? That's looking pretty spicy. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to move the bag up one.
We definitely want the brass knuckles inside the bag here. Oh, I'm thinking maybe we can actually get away with not having the extra side here. It looks that way. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, yeah, I was going to add Bird in right here. That was the whole plan. I think Bird does good on the other side, too. Just looking at this, though, the Bird uh, here... <laughs> look at that coverage on the Gooberts. I think that's kind of the mint. We'll move the shield to the other side, then. Okay, now it's time to set up the pet zone on this other side.
Wow, they got armor, dude. And a lot of poison, too. Hecky me. 135. It's a really nice build. I like how minimal their poison setup is. Ooh, we still got them. Okay, so they had three dark crystals creating armor on the uh, snake poison, too. We got 229 poison, and we still won. How fast is this attacking? 0.46 seconds. Awesome run. Let's do Ranger Run now. This uh, certainly looks fine. Let's make torches. Also buy a whetstone here. Potential Heroes Longsword. I'm going to go ahead and buy the Tusk. We've got two weapons with whetstone. Uh, I'd say it's about a coin flip if we win this opening battle. But we do have two weapons, so any bag that doesn't have two weapons we'll probably win against. Including this one. Selling whetstone for banana is definitely a temptation. I'm gonna lock the banana and just go for it. I think we got a, a, a pretty weak uh, opener here, but that's okay. I probably should have not bought the inventory space and bought the banana instead. Wow, alright then. Uh, no, Peter Zigzags, let me explain my thinking there. The reason I don't reroll if I have one gold left, I only reroll if I have the potential to buy something from the reroll shop, because when you enter the store, you get a reroll for free. So it's not wasting the gold to reroll before combat, but it's potentially wasting a gold. Because this store could be just as good as the reroll, and I get to see this for free. I can still spend that gold after combat to reroll again. So there's not a huge advantage to uh, rolling before combat unless you can make a functional improvement to the bag, is my feeling. Like right here, I can re-roll, but what can I buy in my re-roll? Nothing. If I had four gold, then I could potentially roll and get a banana or even a $2 item. Like garlic or something. Okay. Um, I want this bow, but at the same time, am I going to give up torch for it? Yeah, I think I'm going to give up torch here for the, um,. Torch and rock for the bow. It'll be a much better stamina consumption situation when we get around to making the hero sword here. Also, overall better stamina right now. Okay, 0.5, 0.4. Wow, another whetstone in the store, too. Mm. Well, this makes Tusk Poker, that's true. 
All right, let's take out the luck right now and let's make a Tusk Poker. Unlock the inventory space. Okay. Well, at the very least, Fanny Pack on the banana is going to be good. I want this, but I also kind of want to roll first. Yeah, that's why. done here. Oh. Gonna leave this reserve now. Surprised they're not making burning longsword here. There's definitely a more efficient setup here. This way, we're getting two food synergies on every food. I think just healing herbs is fine. Also, health potion is fine here. Let's take health potion. Not convinced I locked the herbs. I don't think so. That is a pretty nice setup there. I got eight thorns, nine thorns. Thankfully, uh, we only have one weapon that's hitting with thorns. We have a chance here. Yeah, we got a chance. You know, they only got to ten thorns. This sword is the only weapon that's uh, activating their thorns. The bows go uh, around that. Well, that's nice. Definitely down with the pineapple here. So I can sell whetstone to pick up the uh, acorn collar here, which is, certainly seems tempting because, you know, we're getting additional crit chance on all of the weapons. But at the same time, if I do that, I am denying myself potentially the hero's longsword. 
I guess right now we don't even really want the hero longsword. Let's sell this. Let's pick this up. A little bit less damage per hit, but more crit, which should be valuable. Twenty three poison, dang, dude. They got me. Nice poison bomb there. I don't know, I think I'm leaning towards the uh, big bullet treats here just because we have the hero sword, so we can add the weapon related uh, critters to that. Grove Keeper looks okay here too. Let's do this. We got squirrel, yeah. Bird would be a lot cooler if I had, um, if I had space right now. I give up the squirrel. One point three, we're still stable. Yo, Riptide Rampage, thanks for 38 months. Atomized Keg, thanks for 23. Doing awesome, thank you. I think I'm going to lock Bird and roll here. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Ooh, -hoo, double axe already? That's trouble. That's trouble. I got a lot of thorns here. Eleven thorns already. Close. What is this? I mean, it's got an immense cooldown, but it does uh, have very little stamina cost. I have a feeling we're not going to get into vampirism here, so I think probably not. You think this is worthwhile, though? It'd be a bit cooler if I could get the second banana in there as well. Because right now it's going to take our stamina consumption to a uh, probably uh, maybe even a detrimental place. Oh, so increased damage per thorns, that's really good. Okay, these two next round. Looks good. Let's 
16 thorns right now. Holy guacamole. It's a lot of thorns, man. 25 thorns? Whoa. Safe to say this hedgehog is going to be a beast. There's 20% faster for each pet and food. No reason we can't get a three star here. Um, I think I'm going to sell the health potion for the carrot just to have it on hand for a carrot goob. All right, very quick restroom break for me. One moment. We'll be right back. All right, we have returned. I actually think that this uh, hedgehog is going to be uh, one of our best sources of damage. Let's redo the bag. awkward not having any stand bags here or any other size bags makes it hard to properly utilize the fanny packs anywho I'm gonna put banana here just because it fits and that compartmentalizes that side Okay, the best unit I can have inside two fanny packs is definitely the bird. Also, this kind of makes more sense turned on its side a little bit. Let's turn this real fast. There we go. This way we get one more depth.
Okay, all your pets have 30% chance to activate twice. Make food trigger 5% faster up to 100%. So I definitely want this near the bananas. If possible. In fact, just this is probably enough adjacency bonus since it's speeding it up to stabilize our, um, our setup here. Okay, there's one star. Here's two stars. I want to get the third star right here. There it is. Clover tucks in here. So I put shield here. This looks uh, real nice. I'm going to move this shield to the corner real quick. Yeah, I'm liking this setup. I think there might be a small food improvement somewhere, but um, not not enough to reconfigure the bag right now. We're getting three stars on the hedgehog, which is the important part, because then we're getting 20% faster for each pet or food. So 60% faster of five seconds here. Um, squirrels hitting four stars. Birds hitting all of the pets. And we're speeding up the correct foods. Yo, Arwok41, thanks for 110 months. And Gus King, thanks for lurking for 10 years, 120 months. Absolute legend. Thank you. Mercy, mercy. Woo! That was close. That's a really uh, nice build. Uh, Poison Ivy with Bloodthorn double tusk poker already. The only reason we won is they had stamina issues. That's it. Alright, another Hedgehog is really good right now. In fact, I would describe a second hedgehog as exceptional right now. Or, or massive amounts of thorns. A double three star on the hedgehog. Nice. Let's give us a three star too. Then I might as well do this. If we do lose a food for that, we gain another... F um, no, we didn't gain another. Never mind. Never mind. This is the setup right here. Okay. Keep an eye on our stamina here. Might be okay to get some bird action on the weapons as well. Eh, not so sure on that. All rats. Well, I guess we'll see how this goes. I might run into stamina issues. I hope not, but it could happen. Maybe just here. Definitely tempting. I don't lose anything by going up here. Guess we don't hit the squirrel anymore. Still looks pretty good. Okay, what's the rat read? Uh, every three seconds, deal five damage, 50% chance to inflict one poison, 15% chance to inflict blind, trigger faster for each pet and food. Uh oh, banger alert. Uh, 
Uh, I see the rat has a lot of possible synergies. I get it. Looks pretty sick. Okay, we still got double three star on the uh, hedgehogs. We got five star rat. The only downside I see on this, I need to move this here, is that uh, the Bolifu is no longer procking on the pineapple to make it faster, which is a pretty nice effect. Seems to solve our issue for now. Same star rat, same star hedgehogs. Bowl of foods now on the pineapple as well. We're still going survival mode here. It looks good. All rats. Or all rats, if you will. All right, where's the old rat or Z going to fit in here? I don't know, I like where that squirrel's at. I could just put the rat right here. It just seems like... Rat somewhere else would would make for a lot more uh, synergy here. Like this. Uh, up here. I think it's pretty important that the uh, pineapple is on the bowl of food. Put the pineapple up here. Okay, it's looking pretty promising because it gets all of the uh, the foods on the top. The important foods are being activated, and then we're getting way more rat value here. Yeah. It's a better rat. No, Hedgehog belongs here next to the weapons because it can't activate stars on both sides. Alright, let's go ahead and roll here. space issues right now. Alright, gonna leave it at that. This looks like a really nice bag. We got a uh, five-star here, five-star here, three-star here, three-star here, five-star squirrel, and this, uh, this bird is an absolute beast. That is quite the nice build they got there. Not unsurprised on that one. $3? I'll buy that. Another hedgy? Okay. Another three star, let's go for it. I'm gonna lock this. Buy the pocket sand, why not?
Ooh. Thorns be thorns here. I think I have more thorns than they do. Ooh, they got poison, though. Nice build. Well, I will say, uh, Ripsaw Blade's not an untempting prospect here. I'll take a little vampirism, sure. Mm, not convinced here. Seems like we're just barely behind power level on some of these builds. Which is all right. More squirrels definitely appreciated here. Stealing buffs is pretty good. Ooh, uh, on sale hedgy, okay. Gonna put it here. I think I can be managing this bag a little bit better, but I don't really want to reconfigure this one. Uh, the pet synergies are pretty hard to conceptualize. I'm surprised we're not doing more damage with the hedgehog hedgehogs. All right, we beat that one. I mean, yes, I will. Do these get started? Ooh, you can put this on the pets. Okay. Okay. That's uh that's a new deal. this build needs is blueberries. for beating a double axe bill last night. It was not the strongest double axe bill I've ever seen, but it's something. here looks really good. Just stick this ring back in here. I 
I should buy a fanny pack here, but I'm debating where it goes. I'm just going to plop it up here for simplicity's sake. And we'll complete the bag. Why not? Hey, there's a blueberry. <laughs> All right, well, I could get this blueberry and fit it in somewhere, but I'm quite happy with my uh, configuration of stuff right here. It looks good. Close one. All right, fun round overall. Just uh, this little forest bag. Nothing wrong with it. And got us uh, through survival mode. All right, Reaper is up next. Absolutely spike shield here, and might as well do this too. I'm going to buy a $2 pig. That's nice. Yeah, all the losses were super close, though. It's true. True. I think if I would have just spent a little more time optimizing my bag on that run, we probably would have gotten another win or two. A little bit unlucky on the poison here. Wow, those clutch blocks at the end. Awesome. Uh, very lucky to have won that combat. Also, this turn we're going to absolutely make shovel. That's the one. I feel like the bowl of food uh, critter bags are like a really... Uh, they're a nice balance versus a lot of different styles of bags. It's not like the most powerful build in the game, but they can be very strong. Um, I think it's just exceptionally good because of the... Uh, how much stuff it covers. Okay, okay. I'm going to buy the second Amnita here because it sets us up to get Blood Goob later. And while rerolling with three is tempting, I can't really buy anything I want for two unless it's on sale inventory space. So I'm going to roll. I think this bag is actually decent. Hold on. It's now even better. Yeah, Light Goob is one of the best healing sources in the game for sure. You can see it being very strong in a pet build. It's double effect because it does more healing than an average uh, Goob, and then also the blind counts as healing when the opponent misses. Nice. Okay, well, we have a uh, blueberry and health potion here. That's tempting. Also, coal's pretty good right now. 
Mm, I'm gonna buy this and this and this, and I'm gonna roll. Okay. I mean, second spike shield is really strong at this early round. Would also just love to load in the second piggy. I think it's in our best interest to do this. So let's sell the, the piggy here. We'll buy the inventory spot this round so we can load in like this. And then I'm going to put the blueberry definitely in here. Cool bag, men. You're such a strong early game weapon. Yo, Abolish, thank you so much for 38 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I do want another weapon. Oh, hey, look, we can get Magic Torch made here in two rounds. So this round, let's get Mana Potion, Torch, and Spike Shield made. That's the goal. Semi-tempted to also buy this banana, though I'm putting myself behind on inventory space. It's setting me up for success uh, in future rounds. Can also lock banana and reroll here. Let's do that. We can maybe get an inventory space of some kind. That'll help. We definitely want to pick this up next round, though. Okay. So this round, we want to get Spike Shield, Torch, and Mana Potion made. It's definitely a stretch. This isn't it. I mean, this is fine, but I'd like to work the piggy bank in here, so I'd like to have these two slots available for the piggy bank. I think I see a way here. I'll start by putting this on its side real quick. There it is. We're making Spike Shield, Torch, and Mana Potion this round. We have 
one shield inside the bag, both weapons and the blueberry. So I think that's going to be as good as we can do with a limited evaluation. Uh, we're freeing up three spots at the end of combat. Looks like we might lose this round, and that's not, uh, not unexpected. We're doing a lot this round to get combinations together, so... Uh, taking an L is definitely a strong possibility. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Time to reconfigure. Of goobs here like poison goobs nice i find very often though if i go early game poison goob i regret it because the healing is actually more beneficial the only thing we need to combine this round is the magic torch i think we can do pretty well with a limited setup here if i get goobert in the bag with two spike shields on either side of goobert That should be really nice. In fact, let's give up the speed bags uh, right now to facilitate this. And then go here. I'm sure I'm buying goop here. I end up going on one side of Goob. You know, I think with the limited space available here, that it's going to be very difficult to have both spike shields on Goob. Consider that. It may actually happen. This coal is really good too because the magic torch will light it. Okay, for a simplification, let's put this here. Let's put a spike shield on Goob on the one side. That will definitely be easier to manage on average. Shovel here. here. We just go mana potion like that. Garlic for the moment. Might just be time to get out of pig. It's a 9k WSA.
I think light goo would be the ultimate for this one. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go for poison goob. And if I'm not gonna go for poison goob, I should probably sell one Amanita to pick up this coal this round. Okay, here we go. Oh, also, looking at my bag right now, uh, I could have had the two shields on the side of Goob, which would have been a pretty strong improvement. So just like this. I do really like Hungry Blade with uh, with this. Also, just getting Dagger here improves it a lot, because then we have another activator for the Magic Torch. Gym Bag is uh, not untempting. Not untempting at all. Yeah, the scientific uh, name for this mushroom is... Uh Amanita, the second part is Muscarita, Amanita, yeah, Muscaria. Or Fly Agaric is another name for it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Captain Oliver. I am definitely a meticulous person. That's uh, that's a fair statement. I don't I don't disagree. There's also the Amanita pantherita, which is a purple version of this mushroom. It's extremely rare. Not in the game, just in real life. Cool, Kaifinet. That's uh, that's fun. I think I'm gonna swap to the Hungry Blade now. It gives me a couple different routes for success. Well, one, we're gonna gain Vampirism right now, and even that one Vampirism is a lot of healing. Uh, two, it allows maybe possibly Bloodthorn, and three, we can either go into a healing or into a Vampirism uh, route here. So this makes sense. We're gonna sell the shovel. We're going to pick this up. We're going to drop the Chip Ruby in here. So, hey, our healing's amplified by 10%, which isn't huge, but it's something. Do I get a better food synergy here if I do this? I get better on the garlic, but worse on the banana. I think that's okay, because we're also utilizing both pieces of the uh, fanny pack. I think we're going to go for the uh, Nocturnal Locklifter here. We got a good spot for it. Do we? Kind of? Yeah, right here is where we want it. 
We look at our other options here. Hexblade, Mr. Struggles, I don't have potions right now. This Venomancer is always tempting because it gives uh, lots of poison. Ooh, a Hungry Blade and Heart Container is definitely a direct synergy. I think it's time to make poison goobs right now. To simplify this evaluation, let's grab here. Let's remove the this. Let's put the Amanitas next to Goobert. Also, is there a way for me to set this up where it's hitting all three right now? Not with the magic torch getting amplified, but even with that, um, yeah, it's got to be from behind here, which is tough. Okay, I, I'm more or less happy with this config. What if I rotate this down? Let's see. Okay, here we go. All three getting hit by the uh, lock lifter now. Okay, that's a nope. We're just going to leave the garlic out right now. I'm going to put this here. Actually, I'm going to put this here. I mean, for this being half off, that is an incredible resource. I'm going to move the fanny pack down here as well. And the reason I'm going to do so is that we get a speed bonus on that one. And then we can put the blueberry here getting double food synergy. All right. looks pretty good. I am considering doing this, but let's also move this up just to make it look nicer. It does actually have a better effect here, but something to do. Oh, hey, here we go. We can. This square is floating, so we can move this over to Goobs. There it is. I'm going to do one roll here. Okay. Well. There's vampiric gloves in one neat little package. Yeah, this is infiltrating Shinra Tower uh, song from Final Fantasy VII. It's the one. interesting way to set up the bag. I definitely respect this. It's a, it's a smart way to do it. Compartmentalizing the, the various pieces. They're not losing any synergies here. Just a way to, uh, to rationalize those kind of setups. Okay, well, let's take a look at this here. Uh, vampiric gloves are awesome because it's gloves of Taste Blood Amulet, we get 5 Vampirism, and Star Items trigger 35% faster. Um, but, on the same note, making uh, making Blood Goobert here is also very strong, because Blood Goobert uh, steals life and increases per Vampirism, which we have a little bit of. I don't know, I feel like the Vampiric Gloves are a little bit better here.
that being said, I also want Goob. So I think I'm going to buy Goobert and the inventory space here, and then we'll load the other Spike Shield back in, and then we'll uh, go for Vampiric Gloves next round. Because this, at the very least, frees up the storage that we were missing. This every three seconds this is on hit. These are both pretty uh, valid activators. I guess that's how it has to be for now. Another option we have is a uh, vampiric dagger. That's not a bad one. We do have other vampiric items potentially next to it or close to it. leaning towards the vampiric dagger versus the um, versus the gloves now because I'm looking at the bag and where, where do gloves fit into this bag that's a tough one I think Vampiric Dagger uh, serves our needs better than the gloves, which is a weird statement, but true. Like, we know we're not going to get rid of this dagger. There's, it's, not, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, gloves below Poison Goobert here. That's a great idea, hitting both of these. I think this dagger needs an improvement to actually be all right. This increases the damage on the dagger a lot as well, so I'm, I'm sold. I may want to take the gloves anyways. I think I will take the gloves anyways. And they're not going to serve a purpose on this particular uh, round. Getting them on the on the dagger means we activate the vampirism faster, which should be uh, pretty important. Light Goobert, are you kids in me right now? It's Light Goobert time. This build is about to pop off. Probably best if I made Light Goob this round, but I already bought that inventory space. That's probably for the best. We'll get this made. All right, I guess I'm going to sell the gloves back. We'll go here. And then we'll work in this. Locking this for Light Goob. Light Goob is um, one of the best healing sources in all of the game. It's really strong. We got Phoenix here too. We might be in trouble. I think they're having trouble damaging us, is what's happening. They are. Just one of those unfortunate bags that didn't find other ice items for them. That happens sometimes. Hmm. Not 
without activating the other vampirism items very well. Okay, we know we're getting this this round. So let's figure out how this is going to fit in. I'm guessing we're dropping a spike shield this round. I feel as if going into just like a super, uh, super heavy stamina consumption here is probably still better than dropping this off. So we're at least initiating some kind of vampirism. We need the we need the blueberry. Yeah, it's a little bit diminished. Guess that's the bag. Be nice to have this uh, this dagger near the other vampiric items, but this round's just going to be awkward. Honestly. Stamina is not near as bad as I was expecting. It's not easy, but we're still hitting. Oh, this is definitely a survival mode. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mono Orb here is freaking huge because of the way this is set up. This gives us a continual source of mana. In fact, we make mana thirst here. Mana thirst will give us one mana per hit. And also has a, a greatly reduced uh, uh, stamina value. There's that at least. Okay, is there any downside to Mana Thirst here? Okay, it's increased by Vampirism. It's not going to make Vampirism from the hits. Uh, maybe I pass on that then. Right here is probably fine for the Mana Orb. Right here as well, where the Blueberry is, is pretty strong. Mono Orb does not make a very good Goobert activator, but we had to find a spot for it to live. This looks pretty acceptable. A little bit awkward on space. There must be a way here to activate both. There we go. Looking good. 
This should be enough uh, generation. Ooh, we're spicing right now. 15 vampirism. That's working. All right, here's another uh, gem. We're definitely going to take this. I must consider taking this uh, second mono orb as well. I think I do. Just another source of potential mana gain. Even go here and put this back. We're going to do that. I think uh, Wolper Tinger is a pretty big downgrade in this bag. Basically, if we're going to get Wolper Tinger, we have to put it next to uh, two other pets, so two goobs at minimum, and then we have to move stuff around. We're at 1.3 right now. What do we have for buffs? Vampirism counts as a buff, yeah? So let's just say we had 10, uh, 10 Vampirism. That'd still only be 0.7. I think Wolpertinger works best in pyro bags where you're stacking massive amounts of heat. That there? Cool. Okay, vampiric gloves can be made this round. I think we're selling Amnita here to buy the bag space and gloves. Looking good. Hey, whatever, man. At 223, thanks for making it official with Prime, dude. Thank you. That is a lot of chili goop, man. We're sustaining right now, which is incredible. That is most interesting. Okay, if we added in another... What's monitor? Is 0.4? 0.4. Like, we could have Mana Thirst, Magic Torch, Hungry Blade, and the Dagger, potentially. I don't know if that's worth going for, but it's an interesting idea. I think since we already have double Mana Orb, the Mana Thirst has significantly less value in the bag. So I think we're going to pass on that idea. Well, it's interesting to think about. I'm sure the gloves are where I want them right now. We want them on the uh, the heart. You know, I th think actually the best thing we can do here is put double fanny pack right here. This way we're getting a 20% faster, 55% faster uh, proccing of the heart container. I think that's a very large step up for our build right now.
We're a little bit over on space right now. Let's find something to put in there. All right, well, uh, making Bloodthorn. 1.1 stamina plus the point seven. We'd be at 1.8. That's a little bit unsustainable, but we'd be gaining damage on Vampirism and Thorns, and we'd be gaining damage on the Magic Torch, so we'd be hitting really hard. Hey, cheers, Rabbit. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. I'll take that. Also take that. And let's lock the Amanita as well. Sure does, Nomad Kane. Sure does. Yo-ho, Rabbit Salvo Cow. Thanks for that very kind message in the 25 gift sub package. Incredibly generous. To all those recipients, please enjoy the Emos community and ad-free viewing. Very happy to have you. Alright, Bloodthorns out. So this gains uh, Vampirism and Thorns on every hit and gains damage for each of those. Which turns out is pretty cool. Okay, Vampiric Locket. Uh, let's try to make sure we're getting as many food synergies on these bananas as possible. I'm actually going to consider a new space for the, uh, the mana orbs here. That looks okay. That ain't it. Okay, that's going to be it. Yeah, we can definitely work this in next round for a little more stamina. This is also fuel for the Bloodthorn. Here we go. Honestly, technically, I have, I have no comments on ways this game could be improved. Truth is, I'm not a very critical person. I just like playing games and enjoying them. This is uh, one of the top meta builds right now, the Light Goober uh, pet spam. Because it applies so much blind that you can't really hit with your weapons. It's a strong build. Not really going to be surviving that one no matter what. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and slap in this here. Looks good, man. I'll also say if you have any suggestions for this game or balance suggestions, I highly encourage you to leave those in the Discord for this game where the dev can take that feedback critically and not in the chat. No, the choice is yours. It's been my experience playing lots of different games that have various uh, levels of balance that most people's suggestions for balance are just a gut reaction feeling and not actually based in... Uh, any kind of mathematical uh, uh, reality. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we do have debuffs here. I'm going to drop this inside of the uh, the heart. Uh, what does the moon shield do? Okay, armor gain, gain mana. Seems interesting. I mean, also, maybe just another mana orb here isn't uh, isn't insane because it could it could generate a, an intense amount of value here. Yeah, I guess the point I'm getting to is I'm really glad I don't have to balance a video game based on feedback. Very grateful. Actually, using up the mana like pretty fast. All right, all right. Uh, this is good. This is also very good. Wow, this is amazing store. Oh, I converted to the dark heart. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. buy this. You know, I think I'm going to sell Spike Shield to pick this up. Let's go. They battle raging. They got a lot of empowerment now. We'll see. Gonna be a close one. I think we're pulling through here. Woo! That was a very nice run, man. Alright, before we go any further here, it's gonna stand up stretch real quick. Use the restroom, grab some water. Also gonna grab some food here. Already prepared thanks to my lovely wife. We'll be back in just a couple minutes for some more fun. Let me resize this cam here so you can actually see the the kidders. Alright. Be right back.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief one. Let's head back into our run here. Pretty nice opening store. Uh, we have both pan and broom on sale, so making shovel looks pretty reliable at the moment. We're going to still hold on to the wooden sword because it'll be useful after the fact. On sale healing herbs too. Let's go. I think we can do without blueberry. Let's do a roll here. Yeah. Well. That's kind of tricky, like, I can buy, uh, banana here. I kind of want to buy pig. Like, I don't feel like these two things are a bad opener. We get two pretty high damage weapons. You know what? I'm going to buy the shield here. Lock banana. All right. Really weird opener. Fair enough. The pig was most certainly a greedy play. Okay, whetstone for hero sword, and then I'm going to sell one flame to pick up one coal here for burning coal. Two stars going to be as good as we're going to do right now. That's fair. Nice dark most glad to hear. Hey, Riser we're going on break there. Rest gadge, thanks for 29 months. Enjoy your lurk and basket of lotion. Thanks for an awesome nine months as well. Cheers. I think they might win this because they have banana and I don't. Well, maybe not. Three dollar gym bag. Okay, we'll buy it. Let's buy this, too. Let's roll. Okay, there's an inventory space. I lot gloves or banana here. Gloves seem pretty good. I think just the banana is better though. I don't have a spot to put the gloves right now. Oh, I could have improved my fire setup in this bag. Yeah, you know, it's a tough one, Darkmos. Um, 
I think there's a lot of very viable builds in this game. I do agree poison builds are generally feeling pretty consistent. I think uh, Pyromancer, I think, has the cleanest uh, start as far as uh, getting a build going, in my opinion. Or one of the cleanest starts, at least. What does Sapphire do? Let's just put it here. Oh, I see why that messed it up. Hmm. I mean, with how well this is going, it's not untempting to grab the, uh, the other pig. Okay, I just need inventory space here. Buy this. This at least gets us one uh, banana in the bag. Okay, there's the tusk for spike shield. I want that. point four right now and maybe it's best to have the banana rather than the shield. I don't think so. Okay, they already have an armor, that's pretty nice. And they are running double customer cards, so we got a very good chance here. Looks like we're okay. Okay, here's the other whetstones, so we're going to be making uh, the longsword, which will then become the burning longsword. I am super tempted just to take a second gym bag here. Spice Shield Maiden. Alright, second gym is a little bit too much. On sale inventory space is <laughs> transformative right now. Alright, this in the bag is also good for stamina. Let's just put it in the shield for right now. Ooh, $4 Draconic Orb? About to make a recipe I don't have yet, which is this guy. Not sure the stats on it, so it's a little tough to evaluate what I should do here. I think I'm going to hold on to the banana. I think two bananas most builds want. But this is an immense value for $4. Hey, you too, Zebex. Cheers.
Ooh, we're lucky we won there. Okay, burning sword. One of two. Definitely gonna do that. Probably the coal on the faster weapon. I have some nice looking stuff here. Amethyst reducing enemy healing is very tempting for $1. But what I really like to get is a four inventory slot so I can load the things that are in my bag into my bag. I think even at the cost of maybe missing gloves, we do that. Okay, vampiric armor. I'm going to lock these two as a combination. All right, how do we get to five here? We sell off the topaz. You know, let's sell garlic and this. I think the topaz actually has a really nice function here. That gives us 10% base stamina generation. We regenerate one stamina per second, so that's uh, half as effective as a banana with no food synergies. It's going to be an expensive uh, venture, but I think worth it. Hiya! This build would be so much better for them if they removed this shovel this round. I see why they didn't, because they want to get the dig value out of it. But they're unable to hit fast enough with the staff. Uh, lucky me. All right, we're also looking at Mana Thirst right here, which is uh, not an insignificant thing. Let's read the stats on this Burning Sword now. 3 to 5 damage, uh, 0.5 a second stamina cost, accuracy 90%, cooldown 1.4, significant chance uh, to gain 1 heat, 5 heat gain, this in star weapons gain plus 1 damage. Sakazil, thanks for 96 months. Four more for that 100 club. Cheers. Yeah. I like the idea of Monothurst because it's super freaking fast and it also has good synergy with this weapon. It means we could potentially even add in a third weapon later. Uh, albeit Shovel, Burning Blade, and Hungry Blade right now is going to be too excessive, so I think we drop Shovel here. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, if you're familiar with how Super Auto Pets works, you're fighting somebody that's on the exact same round and amount of wins you are. You're fighting a comparable build. Seventeen poison. Still got him. Wow.
Okay, here we go. We got a uh, mana thirst working. We don't need dark items right now. This kind of feels like Scale Warden, but I can also see Cryomancer working here. We have the heat gained inflict to chilling, so I think I'm going to try for uh, Cryomancer here. There's no guarantee we get Cryomancer items, but um, I think we're set up pretty nicely to go for it. Firebender, of course, is good here, too, because we use... Oh, maybe this is uh, best right now with Mana Thirst. You use one Mana to gain two heat. Every five he gained this and star weapons gain plus one damage. All right, this is a much cleaner synergy um, for our build. What is this going with? Oh, Molten Spear, right. All right, in order to make... Uh, This, I need 16. Probably sticking with the burning coal inside the weapons. Well, I believe it's time to get out of pig. If only to load this up. Also debating the efficiency of healing herbs now that we're not um, transforming it into vampirism. Might be the thing to sell. I think Emerald's the one out. Well, I think very fair to say here there's no stamina issue, so dropping the bananas for now is fine. It is a little bit less healing, but we are gaining vampirism, so that's something. There we go. I think the bag's looking pretty neat. Could also do this. I guess it's the same amount. Going great, Relic Killer. Cheers. Okay, here we go. Spicy boy. Now we also have vampiric armor. Which start a battle, convert 30 health into 60 armor and gain 2 vampirism. Every 3 seconds, convert 10 health into 20 uh, armor. One thing that's kind of understated on this, uh, this item is that The conversion of health allows you to get more vampirism um, on average. So losing the health right away means your first hits that have vampirism are healing rather than having to wait to be hit or get through your armor. It is uh, pretty powerful. Get a fire item there. Any pack on vamp vampiric armor is good. I also really just like the fanny pack on weapons here. Because the the weapons are we're under stamina right now, only 0.9. So speeding this up is uh, nice. I think this uh, sets that up nicely. Or 
support 9 of 10 flame synergies. Awesome. Healing Amplified by 10. Chance to resist stun. Well, you know, combining the Topaz here doesn't seem bad. We're low on inventory space anyways. Do one roll. Ooh. Three dollar boots, not bad. I like the two dollar topaz. I still have a spot to put it right now. I guess where their ruby is is certainly a possibility. This is basically like buying a banana with an extra slot. I think I am gonna take this topaz. And this opens up maybe the idea of getting uh, another weapon loaded in here. Like, would Ripsaw Blade be uh, too, too much? Let's find out. Okay, so we're currently at 0.9 stamina a second. Remove the fanny packs, we'd be at a stable 0.9. Uh, and then this would bring us to 1.7. Each banana is 0.2, essentially. So this is 1.2. No, sorry. That's right, 1.2, 1.4. 1.55 these combine we get to 1.7 so we're actually right on the cusp of being able to add ripsaw blade or another weapon in and ripsaw blade is majorly tempting because it uh yeah it's majorly tempting i guess the the kind of downside here is while the bananas do scale with our heat generation on friendly fire uh the topaz don't so eventually the weapons will get faster than our stamina allows. I think right now may, may not be our time to add in Ripsaw Blade, though we should be considering uh, a weapon here soon. Let's just let it ride. I'm really pleased with this build. We only have one source of... Yeah, we only have one source of mana use, which is the friendly fire. And this is generating mana faster than it needs to. Those are getting locked. Uh, I mean, holy crap, right? I think a play here might be to put the uh, the topaz into the into the burning sword because it's got sixty percent chance on hit to gain one heat. I think the bananas are coming out right now, and we're buying uh, phoenix for sure. And now I got to consider if I want to purchase the flawless topaz or not. I think I do. The bananas do have a really nice value in this bag because they scale with the amount of heat that we gain. So for that reason, they're very strong. Or you know what? I'm going to combine these. I'm going to lock this. I'm going to sell healing herbs to buy this. And then we're going to put banana here. Yeah, we need to move this phoenix over one or two. Here.
This does count as a weapon. You know what? Let's sell here and here and here and here and let's buy the topaz now. Yeah. Spicy boy hecky land coming up. We could go like this. It's a little bit less uh, flame synergy for the flame guy, but we get the second banana in. Let's, I want to see what my stamina consumption is like without the second flame guy, or without the uh, second banana. This is one mean bag we got. This was mean too. I think what's going to happen, we're going to out damage him here. All right, so we did a lot of damage very quickly. Um, our... For me, I felt our stamina was a little bit waning. Yeah, I'm definitely not against grabbing a uh, whetstone here. Another whetstone would make the, the other recipe we don't have this one. More topaz, too. Wow. Let's go for it, man. Like, the potential heat gain on weapons in the sockets is good, but the weapons hitting faster is probably best. Gloves be tempting, but I really just need inventory space right now. Okay. Alright, I think it's fair to say here that Hungry Blade is quite good. Uh, Hungry Blade is only a point six. And if we move the topazes to the bag, we can certainly sustain a third weapon here. And if it's also gaining damage via the burning blade, that's really good. For me, the amount of space left in the bag is making it hard to justify Goobert, but uh, I could certainly see Hungry Blade, Vampiric Armor, Blood Goobert working here. Chili Goob would probably just be the best. It's still really good, uh, Nomad Kane. You're right, there's a diminished capacity because it does not scale like banana. But if you think about the numbers, you have to get to uh, 50 heat to double the banana's effectiveness, which goes from 0.2 to 0.4, where this is already 0.3. So uh, this is as effective as a banana with 25 heat in the bag. Still a very high value item. I kind of think gym bag is out now, or gym box, to make room for uh, Hungry Blade. All right, so I need 10 right now to get Hungry Blade. This sells for three, that brings me to eight. Probably just sell off a couple flames and um, take it that way. 
could also sell this so that diminishes the blade. I could sell banana. Ooh, I could sell spike shield even. What else can I sell to get to 10? Could try not making the improved burning blade here. Sell whetstone to 7, ruby for 8, two flames for 10. I think the gym bags still have some value here. It's early enough, it's going to make a lot more gems. Alright, let's sell banana here. Uh, let's sell ruby. Let's sell two flames. We're going to buy fanny pack here. I'm going to put burning blade here. When I'm able to get this... Actually, hold on. Can I turn this on its side? Can't. I don't want the fanny pack on the phoenix. Well, the phoenix does damage. It also damages me every time it attacks, so... Uh, I'd like to avoid that. Missing herb here. I'm gonna drop one of the uh, flames for the herb. This is one mean bag, man. Uh, with three melee weapons, I am gonna take this gem. I'm gonna lock Goobert too. I think it's a little unclear how we get this in the bag, but it could happen in two rounds. I get two of the right here. Yep. Ooh. Resurrection v. Resurrection. Okay, we did run out of stamina there. More topaz. That helps with the stamina. I think this just became a non-Goobert bag. Okay, those are good. Okay, Vampiric Dagger could have a use. Can I actually fit this in? Yeah, I can if I turn this stuff sideways, and I will. Yeah, I'm going to get out of the, uh, the box here. I'm going to sell... Oh, man. What do I sell? I'm going to sell a flame. Okay, Bloody Dagger, that's the one. And bag reconfigure after this round. There are four classes in the game, Mortachine. Come on now, you can hit, you can do it. Got too much blind built up. Light Goober pet build is a very strong meta build currently. I 
I need inventory space. That's kind of inventory space. Ooh, also. Okay, well, this all fits, but it's time to reconfigure. We haven't really reconfigured the entire the bag uh, this entire run, which is certainly not a complaint. It's just uh, we haven't had to. So what I want here is the maximum value on the vampiric dagger. So here we go. Now, I probably actually don't want these being faster right now. The armor, though, I do want being faster. Okay, so we've maxed the value we're going to get on the uh, Vampiric Dagger. All four of our weapons are being hit by the Burning Sword, which is a 60% chance to gain one heat on hit every five gain. This and star weapons gain plus one damage. Cool. I think I'm going to drop these to the topaz there. I'm going to put the, the coals back. I don't think we're going to fit both in here with the the blaze. It's a decent idea to get the monothirst on the dagger, too. I think two out of three is acceptable here. I guess since we can't buy anything else, let's put this here for now. I dub the adequates. Nice. Definitely felt the improvement there. I don't see myself not making a second vampiric armor here. I think definitely this comes at the cost of Spike Shield, and we're okay with that. Hmm. I 
think I'm gonna sell Spike Shield right now and pick up this inventory space to potentially get the banana in here. That's a tough one. Let's sell Whetstone. That's there it is. That's the one. I think a banana is kind of important. I also think this herb is more important than the fire synergy. We can also put this on a weapon, so it's potentially gaining a uh, heat. All right, looks awesome. Let's go. Ooh, the luck build. Okay, they're not starting at 20 luck, so we got a chance to power through here. Yeah, we eked it out right before they got those massive amount of buffs from the Clover. 40 random buffs may have turned that, may have not. I was thinking there's going to be a way to get both of the armors next to this dagger. I don't think that's true, though. Oh, yeah, there is. There it is. Just missing a flame item right here, huh? It's not bad. Could pull a burning coal, but... Actually, yeah. Here we go. Alright, bird is definitely what we want here. Yeah, Burning Sword does buff Phoenix. There's a star synergy there. Looks pretty good. We are hitting one weapon that I don't kind of don't want to, but on that same note, looks pretty good. We're at seven right now. I'd like to get this going, just because it's more vampirism. All right, four star mono dagger or sack dagger, not bad. It's going to be a real test here. Got significantly reduced healing and also have battle rage to contend with. Oh, yeah. Nice build they got there. So the reason they got that one is they had the regular sapphire hitting through our armor. It was a, a nice decision by them.
So of course, second Phoenix seems tempting, but is it worth it? It just might be. Shield's almost certainly out now. Tough one to fit in. That looks really nice. Let's go. All right, gonna be a big test here versus the Scale Warden. I think they just do too much damage too fast. Indeed. I think the second Phoenix is not as helpful as I would like. Okay, we're only gonna survive one round, so last one here. Chili Pepper seems fine. I'm not gonna buy that four square. We'll sell for three. Crown's actually great here. Crown's great because we are going to reach 10 mana with this and get some invulnerability time. Alright, let's send it. Fair enough. Cool little uh, combo build. We did make it all the way through survival mode. We'll take our plus 16 here. Okay, that completes the full rotation. We're back to Ranger. Let's go. Wow, two dollar uh, bow, awesome. I'll take whetstone here too. Why not? On sale herbs always. Take that. I'm just gonna hold my cash here. I could roll, but I can't buy anything, so not too much value in rolling. We also have five free inventory slots, so let's save our money to fill those. I think it was a little unlucky, but a shield got us there. Fair enough. Oh, we can make a uh, Tusk Poker. I am going to buy the inventory space. Uh, very often here, I'd lock the inventory space and roll to try to fill something, but since our bag's already filled up, then might as well just take that. Yeah, the tooltip for Battle Rage definitely says once per fight in it.
think I'm gonna go banana herb coal. Let's go banana herb shield. Space becomes an issue with that one. Well, I do like the idea of having four uh Four regeneration this early. Four regeneration is a hard carry. Double banana, double regeneration, I think should win most fights. I think for the purpose of this early game juncture, it's actually more important to have the uh, extra regeneration than it is the whetstone and hitting both weapons. That's kind of a weird assessment, but we are like super tanky at this moment. Maybe like a high poison reaper build might be able to get us. Most of the things should fall flat. Like they're doing two to four damage and we're healing for four damage a second. So they kind of can't damage us. They may still win here on fatigue damage. We'll see because they have a source of healing and we don't. I think we're okay now that our thorns are being built up. Yep, we're good. All right, that's a butte. Uh, okay, we're gonna go here. And I'm gonna sell an herb to get a pig rocking. Start getting some income. Come on now. Woo! Survive with one health. Spicy boy, hecky lad. Round five, dragon egg. Okay. Okay. Also, second whetstone, huh? All right, piggy. It was nice. Thanks for the extra gold, bud. Hero sword is 0.5, so we got 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and another 0.4 would be 1.3. I definitely want to grab that. Okay. Yes, I am going to buy pumpkin. 50% chance on hit to stun for 0.5. Fatigue starts, gain 10 heat. Zero stamina cost. So that becomes a question of where does this fit into the build? You want it to be next to the sword, so probably right here makes sense. Or... I need to have everything in the bag right now, so this is how we're gonna, this is how we're gonna rock it. Um, very weird bag. Very weird bag. Uh, fatigue is the second phase of combat, so after a certain amount of time, it enters um, basically in combat mode, and then fatigue damage goes up by one. If you think like a card game like Hearthstone, when you get to exhaust, it starts doing increasingly large damage.
I think bows looks okay here. The, the issue I'm having looking at bow is I simply don't have space for it. Where this I can make space for around the uh, around the sword. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with short bow here. Lost all our regeneration here. It's tough. It might still be okay because the thorns. Wow, nice. Dude, six dollar heart with a hungry blade in tow? Dang. Pretty strong. Like, I don't see how we don't buy a uh, six dollar heart. I guess one argument against vampirism in general is that we would only have two of our five weapons being melee. This is range, this is range, this is range. So vampirism's a little bit devalued. That doesn't mean that $6 heart is not worth it because it gains regeneration and uh, regeneration is certainly a strong stat. And if we get to the seven amount, um, the 80 maximum health and two empowerment is very strong here. This is how all the weapons fit in the bag. Does not leave room for any of the other stuff we want. Fair. Let's buy the inventory space. Let's redo the bag and we'll go from there. I'd be okay with three of the four weapons being in the bag. Don't necessarily need all four. is looking a little more promising. That would indeed be three of four weapons if I buy the one here. I think I'm going to buy the heart instead. And maybe I'm going to unreserve this bow, so I don't, have, I don't have a transform for it, and um, being lower stamina isn't necessarily a downside at this moment. I do want to buy this. Do I sell the banana for it? If we're going to stay on low stamina, why not? We've got all three weapons inside the bag, all three weapons being hit. Or all three weapons not inside the bag, but all three weapons being hit by the sword. Um, I need more inventory space to make this work, which would be the improvement. Okay. I wouldn't say this run's been unlucky on bag space at all. We just have very expensive items. Yeah. 
What does this look like? Boy, that's definitely not bad. Decent temptation on leaf and ivy here. Uh, leaf gives mana and regeneration, so it helps activate our heart faster. I think food bowl looks okay too. Though, with the amount of space available, I'm not so sure on that. I kind of like Grove Keeper here because I think we're above average starting value right now. And uh, this would increase our luck a lot. Since we already have a unique item and there is a downside to the chance to find unique items there. Yeah. Kind of leaning towards arrow here. Yeah, I think Arrow is going to be it. With the Arrow reads, Weapons deal plus 3% critical damage to remove 5 armor on crit. Uh, diamond item activates 40% chance to gain 1 luck. We do have 2 sources of thorns if we want to go for Poison Ivy, but I think uh, what right now we're winning on damage, and uh, doing it this way will increase our damage even further. Okay, really glad to see inventory space here. I'm also kind of glad to see gym bag. pretty good. So we have the dragon and the sword on the stars. We have dragon, shield, and heart on the diamonds. Uh, we've managed to put our two foods together as well. Do a roll here. Well, actually, no, let's grab the gym bag. I feel like this is a winning bag. So let's uh, let's press our advantage. That's a pretty winning bag too. That's gonna be a lot of poison, man. Yep. Winning bag indeed. Go for poison resist on that one. This is not a bad flute bag. Let's check this out. How's this flute look? Hit him with the flute loop flutesons. We're talking seven star flute, just uh, right, right off top. I think I will add a seven star flute in. I, that's like a, that's just a nice add. Flute adds uh, stamina, luck, or armor. good fit. Probably buy the Clover 2 to add in when we find our next bag. Is Mono Orb going to do anything on this build? The answer is no. Alright, they're going to have a pretty massive gain in Battle Rage here. 
80 armor plus some. Yeah, we can make the dark heart here. What does this do? Okay, steals two buffs, prioritizing. Yeah, stealing buffs is pretty nice. I don't think that's worth seven right now. If I had other dark items, it'd be uh, a little bit nicer. Okay, we're at point nine right now. So this will bring us to 1.5. And if we were at 1.5, we have 1.2, this is 1.3, so we're a little bit behind on stamina if I do that. The advantage is we can gain uh, vampirism continually, though it's only on two of our five weapons. And we're kind of back to where we were on that last time. How's fanfare looking, though? I feel like fanfare also looks nice in this bag. Wish I could check right now. Let's sell off this emerald to look at fanfare. Oh, yeah. Looks like this is the compromise to make. I'll be able to move this fanfare later. Oh, hey, you know what I could do? I could move the heart down and get a better fanfare this way. Yeah, that's a lot better. Minus one star on the flute, but plus two stars on the fanfare. Sure. Hey, Grishnak, hope you have a nice one too, man. Yo, Yellow, so sorry for missing you earlier. Thanks so much for seven months. Per usual, I relate to your mission notification. Do sincerely apologize. Got no alerts playing in my ears as part of our No Frills format. Well, so thank you very much for your patience in that regard. A little too much HP on that one. Goobert's so tough to work into uh, a bag with arrow. It's not impossible, but it's tough. Don't think we have the worst Goobert bag I've ever seen. Right. Let's see here. 
Uh, I'm just trying to imagine where Goob fits in here. The problem with Goob is we already have four items that take up four squares each. So that's, uh, that's difficult. I think this dagger right here, though, uh, looks nice. It does devalue the this one, so we at least get a star weapon on the the spot there. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I think if we go here, and then we put the uh, ring right there, looks pretty good. Is this, how much does this change things? Yeah, plus two damage on the weapons is nice. Hmm. I still think that's slightly better. I think crowns out here. We don't have a we don't have a good source of mana gin. Let's let it ride. Uh oh, double goobs. We're in trouble. They got two goobs, guys. Two goobs. This is one awkward bag. This might be the most awkward bag I've ever had in backpack battles. Like everything, everything in the bag's so big. So other weapon would be right here. It's so awkward right now. I certainly don't mind. It's just uh, distinctively different than other uh, builds I've had. Probably dagger here. Here. Oh, there's still one on the bottom there we can get to, huh? How about shield goes here? Then pumpkin's gonna go up here, maybe? And now we're back to where does the bow go? I think that's where I want it. Okay. And then we get acorn ring right here. And then let's make uh, Fortuna's grace. Bone Fortuna, what's that mean? I think I'm gonna drop the tusk uh, poker here.
honestly pretty nice. I feel like flute and fanfare are just kind of done now. That's even better. Let's remove this from the bag and then roll. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell the topaz too, so I can buy this right here. Uh, I think it makes more sense to swap these then. Yeah, okay. Gee, maybe the stun chance is more powerful with the bird. That's probably true. I think we definitely improved our damage with the reconfigure. I uh, mean, a slam dunk right here. Let's roll it. Four dollar pineapple. All right. Let's reduce our opponent's healing by 20%. Sounds great. Looking good, man. I think Double Axe probably wins out here. I mean, maybe have a chance. Nah, double Axe is too strong right now. It's fair. If this bag makes it to survival mode, I am uh, definitely not going to take it into survival. No way. Let's buy these herbs, though. Uh... Yeah, that would be right, whatever, man. The way to counteract that, though, so the percentages for uh, healing removal are additive, so if you add this up to 100%, it completely nullifies healing. The way you get around that if you're a build that wants healing is that you put red gems in your arm, which increases healing, and then it kind of counteracts that additively. But yeah, if we uh, get to 100% and they have no red gems in their armor, we absolutely reduce healing to zero. Stacking, stacking amethysts and armor is a very powerful strategy for any build. I highly recommend it. That's a funky build, dude. Please don't get to 20 luck, thanks. Nice. Alright, this bag is definitely not uh, survival mode worthy, but it is a good example of a bag that never had a clean strategy that was still able to win 10 rounds. We, uh, we threw something together. I'm taking my win. Yo, Wartane, thanks so much for that prime sub. Appreciate that. Bagdar, thanks for 77 as well. All right, our ads are about to play here. I'm just going to stand and stretch real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and then we'll head into a run on Berserker. Be right back.
All right, we have returned and we're headed into another run here, this time Berserker. Where are we at? So we're in Platinum on Pyro and climbing pretty evenly on the rest. This Reaper's a little bit behind here, but not much. All right, Berserker time. Well, I am definitely a fan of creating shovel on round one, so it's going to generate a lot of value here. Uh, I also think buying uh, Walrus Tusk a little optimistic at this moment, but... Sure. And since it's on sale, I'll put this in between the weapons. At least we have two weapons in the bag, is something we can say. Looks like we probably win this one. They only had the blacksmith hammer doing damage. Cool. Okay, I mean, we definitely want the, uh, the buckler here. Strongly considering um, either uh, the sword or buying these two and rolling. I also got to consider the second Walrus Tusk. I think the second Walrus Tusk is probably a little dubious. Um, let's buy this stuff on sale and the sword. And we'll withhold the whetstone so we can maybe make Hero's Longsword. But you know, it gives us uh, two weapons in the bag with a shield. Gives us a good chance on round two. Yo, Sinvicta, thanks for 123 months. On to Decade 2, he says. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, this is what we needed. Well, actually, what we need is a banana, but that's all right. Since we already have the blueberry, dropping the whetstone for the lump of coal is pretty tempting. Actually, it looks even, well... Looks like potential magic torch if I do it that way. Hmm. Cole also has a defensive value inside the shield right now. Let's go ahead and put this in the shield, and then we'll sell this. If we get like a healing potion next round, we'll consider a magic torch. I think just going for the defense right now is it. Already having the herbs, this Hungry Blade looks very nice. I mean, of course, on Berserker, you're thinking I want Axe and then Double Axe in the best case scenario. But I think we should prepare ourselves for not the best case scenario. And this is a major defensive value right now. Also, we're going to buy Fanny Pack here and... Oh. Um... Yes, I am willing to sell Blueberry now. Cool bag, man. Nice. 
the fact that our enemy got up to 18 poison and we still won the fight uh, lets us know we made exactly the right choice. Well... This is, uh, it's interesting. I think we're gonna sell whetstone here, and then we're gonna move this down and put the blueberry in between for more food, food synergy. And then we're gonna buy... I don't know. I mean, bag and pineapple fits together, but the gloves also look really nice. That's a weird one. What what is chat's feeling here? What would chat do? I'm curious. This is a uh, it's a tough one for me to evaluate because we don't have uh, as much space as we'd like. I guess a fair point here is that the gloves don't have many valuable targets. And so we have to get the bag, that's for sure. Let's just buy that right now. All right, I got it. So we're going to move the shovel over here. I'm going to put the uh, bag right here. And we're going to get a triple food synergy on the pineapple. Going to let these ride. Oh, yeah, we can make the item. What's the what's the recipe here? The gloves? During battle rage, items trigger 40% faster. I'm going to lock the gloves just because I can create a crafted item with them. Wow. If this guy survives long enough, I mean, he's getting five extra gold per round. It's like oh, 40% more gold at this point in the game. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I want that build. Ooh. So, uh, when we look at this, gut reaction is purchase axe because double axe. But, there's another option here, which is creating uh, the gloves of attack. And gloves of attack plus the hungry blade is a very efficient source of vampirism healing so that's very tempting i think i'm gonna go for gloves and tusk here to make the claws of attack uh claws of attack read attacks five percent faster for every thorns after four hits gains empowerment empowerment additionally amplifies the damage on the forging hammer all right so shovels out we're getting gloves here we're getting this Considering Mana Thirst here too, but I don't think so. I think that's a little dubious. Let's roll. On sale inventory space and on sale herbs. Life is good.
I'm not going to roll. The only thing I could really buy would be on-sale bag or on-sale Urbigan. And those being on sale or just showing up in the store is very unlikely. Uh, we could also make Bloodthorn here with this. Or additionally, we could craft the Chain Whip. Swap the position of these for now. Actually, hold on. There's an even better one here. That'll do for now. Well, we caught this build uh, at the moment that they are combining their double axes, so we got really fortunate to get a win here uh, on this round. Okay, so now we have the Claws of Attack, and we saw the last fight, we're gaining Thorns at a very nice rate. I think I should grab a second banana here, if only because uh, these are going to get faster and faster. So banana here, and then the collar, of course, looks good. Oh, I guess thorns as well. Interesting. There we go. We lost one pineapple synergy there, but gained more banana. All right, gym bag, let's go. Lock the inventory space. I. Boy, that's a lot of armor you got there, partner. Nice. Boy, that's a toughie. You know, I think the Shaman Mask might actually be best here. We have the Gym Bag, so we definitely have the ability to create sockets. And then there's also things like the Badger Rune, which just escalate the Laws of Attack out of the, out of the game. I think Brass Knuckles are also very good here, but um, uh, isn't feeling like an Anvil build. Dear regarding, yeah, let's go Shaman Mask. Okay, smarter me would have put the Shaman Mask directly into the uh, bag. That way we would have a chance to get runes on the reroll. Meaning if we purchased it and just put it here, uh, this shop could have contained um, some of the special gemstones that this allows. Worth noting. I would like to make Blood Goober this round. How do I do that? 
I sell garlic and blueberry and then buy uh, the gym and I buy the inventory space next round. No matter what we do, we're going to have to make a concession of some kind. Probably drop banana for this. Okay, let's reset up this bag for Goobert. All right, for Goobert. Just put the shield next to Gubert here for simplicity's sake. A not invalid option here would be to... Uh, by the blood gym next round. That's, that's becoming more and more desirable to me because so I'm looking at the space that I need and we can fit the things in the space that we can buy right now. That's everything we want except for the garlic. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a clean way to go about it. Let's do a roll here, because gems. Okay, so it looks like we're making cheese goobert and not vampirism goobert. Well, excuse me just a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry, they had a little sneezy fit. I think I am going to reserve three here. I don't usually reserve three things in the store, but at this point, it's making sense to me. Okay, here we go. Oh, they got eight luck, man. Good for them. Ooh, double dragon egg. Their build is going to pop off here in a round or two. We've hit some builds at very fortunate points to be fighting them on this run. I don't, I don't think our build is really um, escalated the way it needs to yet, but uh, 
Uh, we've had some fortunate happenings, let's say. Cheese, Goobert. Lord of Cheese. Cool, so now we're going to be able to get uh, 10 random buffs. We're going to have 4 luck to start. Do one roll. Okay. Majorly tempting to go for uh, vampiric gloves now. I think so. It's kind of uh, interesting. Our last two berserker runs have been pretty fun, but we have not been going the berserker route. Like this is the berserker route. You get the double axe. You go from there. Hey, they found a present too. Good for them. Our first run today had present in the third store. It was awesome. things that I can socket gems in. Alright, I'm gonna sell this and grab this. Villain sword is interesting, but it's um you wanna have a lot of daggers for that one basically. Or things that don't take up stamina. It'd be really nice in a Scale Warden build, too. Okay, right, right now we're able to contend with two dragons Scale Warden. That's pretty nice. If a five dollar egg is wrong, do I want to be right? It's another thing we can socket a gemstone in. Right now, we could also buy this to socket a gemstone right now. Yeah, I do like crown. I also definitely do not mind Topaz on the uh, the other side here. Tough, because we don't have space.
how am I going to get to five here? I think we sell coal. And banana. And... I would say blueberry, but we need the socketed gem. I suppose we can just replace the socketed gem next round with that. I like the idea of this generating mana for us. Well, the important amount of sockets to have is four here, so we can't afford to drop a socket. And that's going to be this one. Actually, it's going to be this one. Okay. It's a very tanky build they got, wow. Will we get fast enough here to actually deal the damage? Time will tell. Hey, we got to the invulnerability amount, that's nice. Might actually be okay here. Oh, nice build they got. A lot of sustain. Well, uh, second cheese goob is not out of the question. In fact, we have a pretty nice, pretty nice build for double goobs. Pretty nice build for double goobs. We're looking at a reconfigure here. And the selling of one gym. Though I'd love to sock it right now. We're probably going to buy a socket in a store. Uh, let's drop the emerald for the cheese. Feels to me like maybe the pineapple stays out of this bag or something. But uh, time, time to reconfigure the bag for sure. Okay. other side makes more sense. Thank you. 
like the idea of this here. It's a little bit of undervalue on the uh, the blacksmith bag, but looks adequate. Crown being sped up is really nice. Okay, well, this looks like a very good start. Let's go ahead and put the uh, collar over here. I'm going to toss the dragon egg in the corner for the moment. So all we really need now to have this bag be, quote, complete is an activator for Goober here. Well, that was nice. Big improvement. Vampirism builds making a comeback right now. A oh, man. Wow, the amount of healing we got in two seconds and then vulnerability was nuts there. I'm definitely taking this one to survival. This is a very unique Berserker build. I'm down. Life steal sounds great. Uh, another pineapple sounds pretty good. Do we have any more sockets right now? We do have one more socket. So we now have one, two, three, four, five socket, six sockets. So we're gonna get fifteen buffs from the shaman mask. Nice. Unlock this guy now. Here he does have a little twofer. That's nice. What a lad, that Goobert. Okay. Like we're okay here. Scale warden, but only one dragon. Okay, we're having some stamina issues right now. With the stamina issues I just saw, I want to get the uh, gloves on something else. There's another socket for reduced healing. I kind of think I rotate here and I put the... Um, the gloves on the gloves of attack because that's what's scaling our build right now <laughs> i mean helmet just looks good for the 15 percent reduced healing i'm gonna buy this Ooh, another crown. That is exceptional. Let's buy the larger inventory space. We'll put the helmet in it. We'll slot the amethyst in for their 15% reduced opponent healing and another uh, socket spot. Since I'm going to buy this right next round, I'm not going to even lock the stamina sack. I'd rather see other items. We have the spot for the crown right now or potentially a spot for the crown.
Helmet does not craft with hammer, no. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a recipe for that, but... Right now it is uh, boots, gloves, and armor that you can craft. Hey, it's Badger Rune. On hit, trigger 3% faster. And yes, that's 3% faster every time it hits. That is uh, mathematically awesome. Well, I'm seriously wondering here if it might be time to get out of the, uh, the gym box. I either get out of gym box here, or maybe I sell, uh, a healing herb. Alright, how many sockets are we at right now? Uh, one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one more socket gets us uh, another set of five buffs from the Shaman Mask. There might be a reality here where selling the spike collar is correct. Because we're not usually reaching battle rage when we're winning. And this is like even more of a win more capacity. I hesitate to sell the healing herbs because we are gaining vampirism off of it. And we are most of our healing is vampirism. So any reduction in the amount of vampirism we have uh, harms the build. I also want this last gem to be able to sock it into the armor. Damn, that's tough. Maybe selling pineapple here is okay. Uh, cheese Goobert on five item activations, gain 15 maximum health and two random buffs. This is insanity, but I'm selling Spike Collar. Alright. There's gonna be a build that sells Spike Collar. It's this one. I'm also gonna amplify my healing here and put this there, because the faster we can generate uh, mana chance for each hit, the quicker we can activate the crowns. Uh, locking this for sure, too. Okay, let's count our sockets real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna gain eight luck at the start of combat, and then every three seconds we're gonna use two luck to gain five random buffs. That is a total of uh, 20 random buffs we're gonna get. Oh boy, it's the Pupper Double Axe build. Let's see how this goes. I don't think they're gaining damage fast enough. In a lot of ways, the uh, Claws of Attack with the Badger Rune is very similar in effect to the Double Axe. Very similar.
Bird's looking pretty good. Okay, I think we're looking at a uh, bird here and here. Now I gotta figure out how to do it. I just think it's, it's unlikely that I get two more... Two more sets here of items that work here. I go like this, though. That's double-double activations. And it's time to sell the gym back gym box now. Let's do a roll with that. Cheese, interesting. All right, so we put fanny pack here. And then we just put the gems in these. Put the sapphire in the hammer too. Let me make sure I didn't desock anything. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go like this. Oh, another stand bag's not uninteresting. That is one nice looking bag, man. Oh, Goobert's missing an activator here, okay. Well, she'll still be fine. Doesn't need to be like the ultimate activator for Goobs. Just needs to work. Uh, I do like another blueberry because it helps activate the crowns. I like that more than the, the herb. I think the answer to that might actually be yes. I think I might. Alright, this is uh this is it. This is the bag. Actually, an improvement here would be to putting the um putting it like this. The faster item food is blueberry. I am very satisfied with this setup. Yeah. Ooh, I haven't seen this dark armor yet. I wanna see it. Oh man, it's a lot of crystal. They're gonna have a ton, and I mean a ton of uh this is a nasty build, man. Ooh, crown saved our life twice. We were literally about to tick down from the poison, and the crown went off. 
awesome. Let's check this out. Corrupted armor. Holy items are also dark. 10% chance for each dark item to protect debuffs on your opponent from being cleansed. Start a battle gain 70 every 2.8. Cleanse two debuffs and inflict them on your opponent. Interesting. When the crown goes off, we get two seconds of invulnerability, and during that time, we can still heal with our vampirism. So that's how we were uh, boosting back up. That we survive versus that particular build is um, it's impressive. That was a that was a real one. You know what, fine. It's an improvement. It fills up the remaining slot in the bag. I'm just gonna lock this and go. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy! They got the nine dragon bag. I don't think we survived this, but maybe we can. If we if the crown goes off in time, we might. Ooh. Oh, dude. Okay, if we're beating this bag, if we're beating this bag, this build is very strong. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're on their way to the ten dragon bag that I had the other day. We just beat a nine dragon bag. Not going to say that uh, Badger Rune Claws are the new meta, but I've had this build twice today and it's crushed. So good. This uh, blueberry is really good here. Very nice. If I move this bag up to the corner, can I do better? Yep. Last round, here we go. Get roasty. That was a certified build right there. Yo, Lost Deuce. Thanks for 126 months and two months in a row. Thank you, Lost Deuce. Happy backpacking to you, too. Hope you're having a great afternoon. Okay, well, admittedly, Cheese Goober was a massive part of the win here. But there's no reason that other classes couldn't have this. I guess the Badger rune is Berserker specific. I mean, really, the Claws of Attack didn't get that powerful. They were good, but they wasn't, like, insane. 
the hungry blade was really the damager here. All right, well, that was very cool. Let's go into a uh, Reaper build here. Well, if you give me on sale pig, I'm going to buy it. No point in rolling here. I wouldn't buy anything. Are we should win versus bag. I guess maybe not. We're both one weapon. I was thinking I was two. I just get crit. That's rude. That's rude. Love to make uh love to make shovel this round. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Because we can't make we can't make shovel and have the shield in the bag. Well, yeah, I can. I just can't have the shield in the bag this round. Not like there's a walrus tusk tying us to this or anything. Eat the pickle value. Let's go ahead and buy this. I think buying a second um, Amanita here is dubious. I don't think this bag is strong for round two. Ooh, that's a toughie. Double garlic banana two weapon. We were gonna win this no matter what we got in the store. Not with the piggy in the bag. It's fair. We are banking on a power level increase later. You know, herbs and hungry blade is a very adequate addition to this bag. But I need inventory space. There's some. There be. Boy Hounds. You know, I guess it's one of these builds.
The medium's at 1.3. I don't want to increase the speed then. I mean, more herb is definitely a thing. Also, I wouldn't mind finishing this recipe for the corrupted armor that we have, like, no synergies for currently, so maybe not on that. Inventory space, please. If I hadn't already bought triple healing herb, I'd be much more keen on the, uh... Monothirst here. Yo-ho, Nick Pack. Thanks so much for 106 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you. This is certified weird bag, man. Did lose a little bit of pig value on that one. And that's all right. We got the shield in. I think there's one more piggy value available here. All right, I mean, poison goobs, why not? Bless. Well, dropping the shield in the sand this turn for Goobert looks really nice. Yeah, this is better, thank you. Doesn't need to be the best Goobs right now to be a performing Goobs. This is from uh, Celeste, KSWA. Lena Rain is the composer. they making poison from? Poison dagger, all right. <laughs> Fix up the pigs here in a minute. Goob it up, Captain. Oh, the shovel dug up the shroomer for us. I, I get it. Considering gloves here, 
Probably best just to reroll and look for uh, space and other things. Space and other things like a gym box. We're certainly going to have space after this round, that's for sure. I don't know, man. It's tricky. One more here. Oh, that's nice. Maybe with already having two pigs, we don't want to do that. Let's buy here. So I could sell I could sell one pig for one gym bag instead. I think that's a fair trade out right now. Also, this can activate vampirism. Do I lock it? No. I cannot believe we just beat Ripsaw Blade Hero Longsword. I think if they would have had the gloves, their gloves pointed at the banana, they would have had a very nice round there. dollar pig yeah Big part of me wants gloves just to put it on the banana later, but uh, let's roll here. That's interesting, but delayed gratification. I want to buy this this round. In order to get it, though, I'd have to get out of the pigs. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Sell double pig, ruby, and coal to pick up dragon egg this round. I would like to save my amethyst slot for uh, an armor. We have gotten pretty decent value out of the piggies so far, so this would not be a bad transition point. Also, this flawless ruby is very good, too. 25% of dealt damage or uh, healing amplified by 25%. That's also great for vampirism builds. Eight costs those a bit much. All right, I'm going to get out of pigs now. I'm going to sell Ruby and... I do hesitate because I can, I can get the coal on fire this round. Alright, I'm going to get out of Amethyst here. 
We're going to lock both of these. There's a decent argument for Venomancer because we already have two pets. So that seems pretty nice. Mr. Struggles being on sale is always going to be a bit of a temptation. Hexblade's not inefficient here either. I think this is just Venomancer. And there's a very nice Amethyst. I'm probably going to buy that for when I find armor. Okay, Shovel's out now. We're going to take a second Hungry Blade. It's going to let us get to our Vampirism maximum faster. We're going to buy uh, this bad boy and this bad boy. Since these are 0.6, I very well might be able to pull off the fanny pack on the blades now. Strongly considering taking this for later. Uh, opponent's healing reduced by 20% is great if we get any armor of any kind. But we don't have it right now, so this is buying for future self, which is not going to help this round. Once this is hatched, this works. The exact kind of setup we'd be looking for here. Actually, like this is it. For the moment, that doesn't work, because there's... Actually, it does give benefit for it being a pet, so we can put that down here. So we're going to gain uh, 8 luck. And 60 maximum health at the start of combat. That's nice. Feels like we're underutilizing the coffin a little bit here. That's true. Every six seconds, Clem's a debuff. Okay, let's just toss that in the backpack then. Looks pretty nice to me. They basically have a better vampirism build than I do, I think, but we're applying poison at an extreme rate. Wow. Uh, poison Goo won that for us by cleansing the debuffs. Or cleansing poison, specifically. All right, we got Volpertinger here, so that's another possibility for um, the snake here. It's either three stars on the Volpertinger or three stars on the snake. I think that the snake receiving the bonus right now is very valuable here. I also really like the idea of Blood Amulet because we're certainly a uh, vampirism build, but we're lacking the space for 
holding the things that we need right now. Alright, cool bag, man. The classic Berserker build here. What's up, dude? find the strong poison application builds generally do okay versus uh, Berserker, just because uh, the poison does quite well during Battle Rage. Alright, parsing down to one Bloodthorn doesn't sound bad. Right now we're doing double Hungry Blade, which uh, escalates our stuff pretty quick. But one Bloodthorn, use one Regeneration to gain one Vampirism, and one Thorns deals damage per Thorns and Vampirism. So this gains uh, a lot. Yeah, let's do this here. Tempting, for sure. Yeah, I do. I do think that uh, getting fast, maybe the faster vampirism does have some value here, but it's we're at a good point to make bloodthorn. We're at five, five and eight is thirteen. So let's just sell one gem here, no problem. It's a good moment to be transforming this weapon. Even if I sold for four and rolled, there's really nothing I can buy for the bag, so I might as well wait till next turn to do this. We could maybe even find like a mono orb and possibly run a uh, mono thirst uh, bloodthorn possibility. Fair enough. Not surprised we lost on the co the combination round. Okay, uh, I might just pick up shield here, um, just because it, it gives us a spot to put our gems. So we can reduce point of healing a lot. It also fits in quite nice with goob here. One source of mana. I'm not convinced Glowing Crown is, is it here. It's a great activator, though. I think we're going to let this slide. Oh, hey, we can slot here. Let's keep the stamina one out. Ooh, actually, let's keep the stamina one out here, too. Uh, let's combine these. Oh, my God. 
Nice. Oh, I was hoping for space here, but it didn't happen. Ooh, six dollar Volpertinger. All right. Wow, that's um, that's something. He would love to be right here. Okay, how are we going to fit the dragon egg in here? I may just drop one of the Volpertingers right now for it. It's going to be very difficult to fit in otherwise. As a thought. It's one, okay. It's on the side, same. It's a good idea. Yo, B Dark, thanks so much for 51 months. Appreciate that continuation, dude. Thank you. Alright, we're going to make a concession this round. The concession is that we're going to leave Volpertinger out of the bag. <laughs> Boom. You slammed Jane. Oh, man, Bird is, like, so good here. But the lack of inventory space demands a reroll. Looking good to me. Let's leave that in reserve. Sure, uh, fried chicken. So the reason you don't combine gems, uh, or you rarely combine gems, is the separate gems do uh, more value than the combined gem. So like in this case, the topazes are increasing base regeneration by 10%, which is 0.1 stamina, and combined they're 0.15. So uh, there's a definite value to space for combining gems, but as far as raw stats go, uh, combining gems does not equal a higher value. Our stamina looked pretty good on that last fight. Move these to the Bloodthorn now? Or do we move into armor? Bloodthorn. 
Oh, pineapple blueberry looks pretty good here. Yeah, we do more damage per thorn, so that's good. Might as well. Yeah, Pineapple Blueberry does sound delicious. We just beat Double Axe Light Goob. This Light Goob is uh, a little mismanaged. I think it'd be better to put the Goob down here and get uh, Activator on other sides, but nice bag nonetheless. I mean, this just adds damage to the Bloodthorn, so it seems like a good buy. It's the main of our damage. What's really carrying in this build is the randomized buffs that the Volpertinger is giving. Well, not randomized, they give you the buff you had the least of. But that's a, a very nice stacking effect. If Helen was on sale, I'd buy it here. Alright, we definitely buying the Heart Container. Heart Container is a continual source of regin. Huh. Okay, let's lock that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, as a great observation, F-Cake. F-Cake in chat notices that since the Bloodthorn is eating our regeneration, eventually the Volpertangers will be continually making regeneration, which uh, will feed the Bloodthorn um, continually. That's nice. I like that. All right, light goob pet build. We're not that good. We're pretty good, though. Uh, big shoe for the most part we're getting more hp based on uh regeneration or vampirism so when we hit stuff we're getting hp back uh also uh we have the snake which is giving us uh 38 max hp at the start of the fight for each pet next to it so that's 90 max hp this is also giving um 20 max health so we're getting 110 extra health off of that combination a most tempting prospect here is to make vampiric gloves or vampiric armor instead of vampiric dagger. But I think spatially right now we're having issues with that. I think glove instead of banana here could be interesting though. The blueberry is unimportant right now.
Yo, Renzo, thank you so much for 137 months. Almost halfway to another 100, he says. That's so true. Thanks, man. B Dark, if I missed you earlier, thanks for 51. Speaking of lurkers, do the lurker roll call for today's stream. If you're lurking in the channel, I mean you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter. You have the capability to, and you want to. Now you're trying to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. Appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all beautiful and amazing. Would not have this experience without you. Thanks for making this a one-of-a-kind place online to enjoy video games with other people. That is awesome. Look at all those beautiful lurkers showing up. Noise. Hey there, my dad, Martin Fodel. What's up, Red Tail Penny, Snoozy Taka. Hey there, album cover, Kane Marco, Good Samey, My Dad Martin, Aliad, Lawrence Forces, Truly Prideful, Tharson. Hey there, Link Rain, The Front, Archmage Thrawn, Dank, Good to see a Marodin, Ancient Steltag, Velaramas, F Cake, McMenifus, Gimaka, Callan League. Hey there, Sar, There, Cluck, I'm a Chicken, Broomstick, Hellgenge, Cool Your Jets, Radioactive Parrot. Conrad, Good Quaintly Quirky Whatever Man, Jay Allen, Hey there, Ambrosia, Benzer, Ver Versal, Yolo, What's up, Brixie, Mycologist, B Dark, Hello Planet, Silhar, Good Pinata Frenzy, T Minus, Ulicator, A Cerule, Tommy Mars, Low Train, Sykes, and all the other beautiful lurkers. Y'all amazing. Yo, Lawrence, thanks for 40 months during that. Cheers. Just gonna buy this. Start a battle, gain 15, resist 3. Uh, this is probably best in a weapon slot. I'm not unamused by the prospect of Ripsaw Blade, but I seriously doubt with one banana, even with these great Vulper Tingers, that we're gonna be. Uh. Yeah, that we're going to be able to get through almost two stamina a second. I can proc the Stone Skin Potion immediately by putting all three of the Burning Coals into the armor, but then we lose the 40% reduction enemy healing, so that seems not possible. What does chat think about uh, the ripsaw blade going from 1.1 to 1.9 stamina consumption? Is that gonna is that gonna shred us? I'd be down for 49 cat dancing emotes. I'd do it. Pump up the jams. Pump up the volume. Yo, Archmage Thrawn, thanks so much for 40 months. Appreciate that 4 0. Yeah, Ripsaw Blade's too much, man. Okay, well, we're going to be making vampiric gloves. That is not too much, man. Get him. I just noticed that the, the heart is going to steal. A good portion of our regeneration to start, but the Vulper Tingers should be able to keep our regeneration uh, high enough. Yeah, they are. Ooh, hoo, hoo. spicy boy, hecky lad, right there. I would absolutely add a third uh, Vulper Tinger in there, sure. All right, we're going to do another run here. We got to complete our cycle. Are we there? Yeah, I guess we rotated through again. Let's just pick our lowest character, which is currently Ranger on gold 49. Yo, Tommy Mars, thanks for that big 8-0. Appreciate the 80 months.
All right, before we actually kick off this other run, it's going to take a very short break here. Thank you all for kicking off that hype train. I do appreciate it. We'll be back in just a moment for uh, some more backpack battles action. Be right back. All right, we back. Yeah, that's true, FK. That's a great observation that anything that spends a resource, the Volpertinger is uh, quite nice at replenishing that. Okay, we're going to take Broom here for sure. And we're definitely going to take Pig, too. Uh, I'm just going to buy everything that's in the store here. Hard to go wrong with that. We spent all of our money putting stuff into our bag. It's gonna be a tough bag to beat with the um, shield double weapon. Not impossible, but tough. <laughs> All right, so we 100% won this one because we had the blind stacks from the broom, reducing their accuracy. Only reason we did that, and we got lucky to boot. Four four three is eleven. Those are facing the right way. They are. Feel as if there's an improvement to be made on this pig. There be. Oh, a little laggy there. It's been happening in the game. I think it's just a glitch currently. It's a minor one. That's right. Well, they got shovel made, but two weapons banana is going to beat most bags at this point. All 
Oh, hey, we can make the, uh... The Belladonna here. Do we drop broom or do we drop wooden sword? I'm gonna make this because I don't have the recipe made yet. But I want to. Kind of leaning towards dropping broom because we already have the uh, one whetstone made for the hero's longsword. I think it's also totally acceptable to buy another pig here if we wanted to. Can I get to 14? How much does this sell for? Two. Okay. We currently have three inventory spots left, and if I bought bow, potion, and pig, we'd need six free spaces. We'd have to free up three. So if we sold a wooden sword and pocket sand and maybe clover. Maybe we saw a wooden sword um, whetstone here. That's the one. That's the one. And there's one more pig value to get here. There it is. Do, 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 do. Jesus, we destroyed them. Why? Okay, so uh, what happened here is I think it's a common mistake with Berserker. Well, maybe not mistake, but a common misconception. You can't rely on this weapon to be your second weapon. This might as well not exist in the bag. It does some damage, but it's not a reliable source. It's very slow, and it has low accuracy, and it requires empowerment to, um, to hit. Actually, I guess their uh, accuracy was reduced by the broom more than anything else. But anyways, uh, if you're playing as Berserker, don't count the hammer as your second weapon. 50% chance on hit to inflict one poison. Okay, that's good. Four two four gets this. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna lock this carrot because a carrot's a nice thing to have in the bag. Oh, he's missing the whetstones as well. That happens. Everybody makes mistakes. Me too. I think the stats faster or slower on this. Two to ten damage. Wow. Okay. It's a very high damage weapon for the early game makes sense because this is much more expensive than any of the other uh, weapons. Ooh, I can get the, uh, I can get my last recipe here. The, uh, well, one of my last recipes, the Belladonna's um, what's it called? Bella. Belladonna's Whisper, Belladonna's Shade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we're cooking. Probably just get, um, drop broom here so we can afford both.
All right, there's definitely a way to do this. Let's just reconfigure the bag here. Let's buy this too. Well. I mean, I would definitely like to access more of the uh, pig value here, but it's just a matter of fitting everything in the bag right now. Carrot's looking less valuable at the moment. I suppose one option is like this. That does get a little more pig value. Yeah, okay. Debating the efficiency of keeping Carrot in the store or not. It kind of matters if I want to go Carrot Goober or no. There's one more here. Nope, same amount of stars. I'm gonna leave the carrot. The bag, the bag configuration does not uh, bode well for reserving things we're not using immediately. cute. For every nine damage, star weapon deals next attack. Is this tooltip cut off? For every nine damage, star weapon deals uh, colon next attack with Belladonna's wizard inflicts plus one poison. Deals 0.5 damage per poison of your opponent. Not quite understanding that tooltip. Okay. Oh, so many good songs to choose from. Oh, here's a new one. Off the die soundtrack. Really cool little game. Every nine damage of small open triggers extra poison bow hit. Okay, got it. Got it. Now we're at 0.9 right now, so additional... Um, banana doesn't seem so good. I think whetstone actually looks pretty nice, though. If, we're, if it's dealing bonus damage per damage dealt. Oh yeah, this is this is a bag right here. I don't have a lot of luck right now. Even without a lot of luck right now, it seems probably worth it to grab this. I mean... 
Might have more luck later. Almost certain, in fact. I'm gonna drop the banana for the herbs. We're having no stamina issues right now, and the herbs will overall give more bonuses here. I think this is actually better this way. There we go. Okay, this guy's only getting one value either way, so we might as well take this bag and put it on this side for the Lucky Piggy chance. Oh, not yet. For reconfigure. All right, we're good. I'm gonna lock this and uh, get on out of here. I think I get a little bit of poison cleansed with this uh, thing though, but their thorns build is deactivated by our build because we're only doing range damage, so their thorns actually don't do anything here, which is very cool. If we had any melee weapon whatsoever, we die there. Oh, man. Okay. Let's roll. Dragon Egg is another source of range damage. Okay, if I move the shield out of here and slide this over, and we get the best possible pigs. They're just piglies. Look at the little wigglies. I don't disagree, Heart's nice. I think I just lock Fanny Pack here because it's very likely we're just buying this. Eh, let's lock both. We're gonna need it. Are they cleansing poison right now? No, you're just having really bad luck applying poison there. Fair. I think we just got a little unlucky on that fight, more anything. Alright, I'm gonna go for Grovekeeper here. I don't, even, I don't think this is correct, but... Uh, that's okay. More to, more to builds than being right. I'm just thinking if I can get the piggies on the Belladonna Shade, we're gonna be having a good time. Acorn Collar has uh, nothing to do with round start. It's a good idea, though. Definitely not bad. It would be best if it was actually pointed at the Belladonna Shade, though. I'm really considering leaning out of the uh, the dragon egg here and just going for another bow setup. I think I'm going to do that. Like, I really want the dragon for more damage, but this is a more direct continuation for that. And then we can pick up this and... Um... I 
maybe even get uh, Shield and Higley in here. And we are medium stamina now, to be fair. There we go. Alright, where's the continuation? Alright, that's just how it is for right now. Fair enough. Yikes. Got shredded right there. Alright, I need inventory space. I'm gonna buy this on sale banana and then roll. Also, Tusk Piercer here doesn't seem bad. Why is this not combining? Oh, because I wanted to make Fortunas. I see. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go over here then. Nice. That on sale's a big deal. Bone for tuna. What's that mean? Calm down, Giuseppe. Really shredded off the uh, poison there. Gonna make it? Barely. All right. I mean the the steady crit here is good. Also, really liking the idea of this pineapple. Sounds good, Jisoo. I'd eat that. Okay, we do have other chance for items, so we can go here, and there's a better chance for this to proc. I would like to get the second Piggly Wiggly made here.
Wiggle in that pickle. Let's go. Man. With how much luck we're going to be gaining, this is unnecessary. What I'm a little bothered by right now is how I'm going to fit in the pineapple. I think just like this. In fact, I'm going to give up this luck for the regeneration currently. Let's roll. Mm, yeah. Definitely unopposed uh, fanny pack. Still got six gold to spend. Okay. Stamina potion's not uninteresting. Do one more roll. Not bad. Gonna lock that and we're gonna go. Ooh, that burning sword build is strong. Now you expect to see some kind of uh, power loss uh, on on a lucky build because we're not we're not maximizing our luck yet. Hmm. Well, pig's hitting both. Like the second pig to be able to hit the uh, Belladonna shade here. Tough sell, though. There we go. Tim does look pretty good here. It's our fastest weapon. 1.7 seconds. I'm going to toss Tim in the Belladonna shade. 50% chance to steal a random buff on hit. That's definitely not bad. I'm really enjoying the concept of the Grove Keeper uh, item. Uh, I'm going to keep trying it, even though sometimes it doesn't work. I've had one in four builds on this work uh, well. And the one that worked well was uh, to the extreme. It was ex so good. Whoo! One health remaining. The cool thing about these clover builds, too, is you generate the two clovers every single round. So it often feels like you're a little bit behind. And then you kind of turn this corner, and it's like you're finding all these items on sale, and uh, everything just starts going good. It's nice. I feel like our stamina consumption was at a point where bird might actually be sustained here.
I'm gonna buy it. I think we're gonna be reconfiguring the bag. This is how I like to do it. And I would highly recommend this method to anybody. Um, I've seen lots of people play this game. It's probably one of my most watched stream games uh, in general. And uh, something that happens to almost everybody, and it happened to me a bunch too, is they refuse to pull all the bags out because they don't want to redo the bag. <laughs> and they end up spending two or three more, uh, as much, two or three times as much time reconfiguring all the stuff in the bag. And if you just pull everything out and put it back in, it almost always works. Almost always makes sense. Because really, uh, combining the bag falls into a few compartments. Weapons, food, and then other. So I like to start with weapons and then go from there. Nothing wrong with not reconfiguring your bag either. Just uh, I've noticed that a lot of people, and I fell into the same category, really don't want to redo the bag. And it actually takes more time to fuss with it that way than it does to do it the other way. It is, however, your time to spend however you want. That is true. A mountain of trash with no goober is just trash. There's no there's no treasure unless you value those goods. So true. So true. All right, so this is the gist of it here. This is also how the lucky pig should be. Two on the shade, one on the one on the thing here. Alright, let's move this up a little bit. Like so. Goob's just busy finding some new treasures at the flea market, guys. Alright. <laughs> He's there. Finding those treasures. Also, how much cooler would my life be right now if um, this came up one? Yeah, we want them both pointed at the much faster firing bow. Cool. That'll do it kind of bungled up this section. We have a lot of this miscellaneous stuff to toss in places like clovers, so the configuration of the bag is even less critical on this. Did I miss the star on the shield now? I did. Okay, so that was a... I don't know, maybe I, I'm going to get out of this idea. Alright, this bird goes up here then. Actually, you know what? We're going back into this idea. Like, the Tusk Piercer reads, uh, weapon hits, use one thorns, next attack with Tusk Piercer deals plus a damage. So these will basically sustain themselves. Ooh, since these are both on exactly three seconds, let's move uh, Fanny Pack onto Belladonna's Whisper. Let's attack slightly before this one. So we can guarantee the Tusk proc on the first hit and every subsequent hit. I, I do fear if these are hitting at exactly the same time, it won't actually proc the effect. I think that was a good idea. Okay. Now we're into a much better bird as well. 
clover goes here. Pineapple on the side. Okay, right on. Uh, I think this is a pretty big improvement to our bag. It really looks very similar, but we streamlined the uh, stars on the piggies, which is probably one of our best effects. And we also got this bird on the food, so we're not going to be running out of stamina. If we look really good on stamina, I'll just move this over so we're hitting like this. Actually, let's go ahead and do this and see how it looks. Uh... 40% of 0. 0.5. Let's call it 2.5. Oh, another 5, so it would be 1.9. Uh, yeah, we do not want to hit both these weapons with this. Yo, Twagger, thanks so much for 81 months. Enjoy that lurk, dude. Oh, yeah, we're dealing the damages. Huge fan of flute in these, uh, these bags. Lacking a little bit of space to fit the flute, but if we get it in here, hitting on singular items is a lot of stats. It's like, for example... Uh, no matter where we point the flute, we're getting a uh, huge value on it. But this is not the time for flute. It is the time for a third banana, though. And with a third banana, I can move this... Uh, this over. I'm going to touch one bow right now with the possibility of moving it over to hit a second one. Yes. So how much luck are we at right now? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Reaching the 20 luck threshold seems unlikely, but let's keep our hopes up. There's one. Crown would be good if we had any mana resource. We don't. There's Mana Resource right there. I don't think this style of bag is Goobert, uh, Goobert friendly. Now, you could definitely make the argument that Goob's good in pretty much any bag. It's fair. But, um... It's hard to find space in the Grove Keeper. All right, we're still cooking. In kind of a funny way, uh, losing rounds on... Losing rounds on this character isn't always bad, because you're able to generate more luck. Um, uh, yeah? I mean, all right, sure. No space left. Mm, interesting. Also, stamina consumption was fine, so let's move this over again. And with that, let's put two fanny packs on the bird. That stand bag just got awkward.
I do really need this on the Belladonna's Whisper too, though, so let's leave it. Oh, hey, let's slide this all over one. There it is. All right. I remembers. All right, hitting all food and double bow. Coop. All right, good luck to me. Oh, luck v luck here. They have poison, I have mass bows. Looks like mass bows is more damage. All right, you know what? I really shouldn't take this one to survival, but I'm going to. So basically just make mana over and over again. No good. Now, uh, Fancy Fencing Rapier is a very serious weapon, and I believe is going to replace the Tusk Piercer here. It's on sale as well. So, on hit, use 3 luck to gain 3 damage. That's permanent for the fight. On miss, gain 3 luck. So we're never going to miss because we have a ton of luck to begin. When you take this weapon, uh, you're basically saying that I'm not going to reach 20 luck as Grove Keeper unless I have 20 separate. Uh, yeah, unless I have 20 separate here, which is unlikely, but not impossible. This will definitely be a bonus to our damage. That that much I'm sure of. We're doing 1.6. We do have four bananas getting birded. Let's roll. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this specifically on the fencing rip here. I think I'm going to actually move this over one. Get off of hitting the bow and get onto only the rip here. All right, now I got to fuss with this food for a second. Some of this stuff away. I think with the addition of the fencing repair, our, our build's actually like pretty slapping. All right, roll. Could also grab a corrupted crystal here for opponent below 30% health deal plus 50% damage. All right, let's put that on the fencing repair. Yeah, so 20 luck we receive 40 random buffs from the giant clover. That's what happens. Damn, it almost feels like we could have kept the, uh, kept the bow on. Good, good one. Okay, so let's count our luck here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen... 15, 17, 18, 19. So we're only one away. We're going to reach 20 luck on this build. Awesome. I think the pineapple is the odd man out right now.
Give me another luck, please. Still better to get the 40 random buffs here, because we gain luck off the hits. I do see what you're saying, though. Okay, Fanny Pack. Could replace these two spots. To what point? To this point. Okay, that's interesting. That's 1.5 seconds. Let's put Tim on that. I don't know, man. I'm kind of tempted to go double repair here. I mean... Yeah, let's, let's drop this bow. I mean, the poison aspect here has been fun, but uh, this is going to be the real deal. Also frees up space for the things we need to hit. Um, I guess we got to do it this way then. Well, no, like this. I want the rings in between. And for the moment, we can keep our pineapple now. luck. I think we just hit 20 luck here. Pretty sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20. Yeah, okay. So at the start of combat, we're going to hit 20 luck, which will uh, diminish the repairs a little bit. Looking good. All right, that's that. Okay. You can do it. You can do it. Woohoo, close one. That's a very tough build for any build to uh, go up against. Tough thing, rather. Even though we get 20 luck, I want to go above 20 luck if I can. Okay, another acorn ring is yes. Loot was a reasonable purchase there, too. Another bird, okay. Another ring, okay. Make sure we're still at 20 here, should be. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21. Oh, hey, we can get the pig hitting this as well now.
Man, that extra ring really paid dividends there. You know, I, I don't think that a flute in this type of situation is looking bad at all. We could probably even reasonably get it set up so it's hitting uh, nine separate things. Since it's only one round, though, <laughs> probably not. Put this in here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to sell the Clover because then I give up 40 random buffs at the start of combat. That'd be uh, pretty devastating. Gloves are interesting. Alright, I'm gonna sell the pineapple. I'm going to go into two more luck here. We're eating luck like mad with the uh the repairs, so. Crazy how much money you generate in a build like this. All right, we done did it. We made it all the way through survival on a lucky clover build. And honestly, this clover build was not very good. We uh, we found the repairs at the right moments and got the birds, too. It was a good one. All right, you all, that's going to do it for today. I had a great time. Uh, we may do like a Splunky 2 daily or something tomorrow, but I got a busy couple days coming up. So our next uh, scheduled stream is this upcoming Saturday. Uh, thank you for the the great week of Backpack Battles. I've enjoyed it a lot. We'll be back for some more uh, on Saturday. Uh, in addition, we also have Slice and Dice releasing on the 20th of this month on Steam, which is going to be amazing too. Uh, I think we'll be playing both of those kind of simultaneously because I got a lot of backpack battles left to play. We've had a really smooth ride up through gold to platinum so far. I don't think we even dropped a single run um, before survival. Maybe one or two. Anywho, it's been a blast. Thank you all for the great time. Wonderful company. Awesome conversation. We'll be doing it again on Saturday and maybe a daily tomorrow. I'm not totally sure. But uh, yeah. Until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I have for today. Brag out. Thanks for the amazing stream. Appreciate you.